Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome to a very special first episode of a playthrough. I have been waiting for so long to do this very thing, which is record a blind playthrough of Outer Wilds. How blind is this playthrough of Outer Wilds? I've not even created my... I've never opened the game before 30 seconds ago. As a piece of evidence to show you, uh, probably six months ago on my own Twitter... I blocked the words, I muted the words Outer Wilds because I don't want it, I, at that point I did not want to learn a single thing about the game. So, let's do this. I really don't know what to expect. Uh, that should be obvious by now. However, my name is Indigestion. Welcome to our playthrough. I'm going to hit create. I haven't even opened the game to change the volume, so I really hope parts of Echoes of the Eye, I know that is the DLC, can be intense for some players if they become an obstacle to your enjoyment of Outer Wilds, a reduced frights option is available in the gameplay menu. Okay, beautiful. Welcome to a new expedition of Outer Wilds. I'm nervous, are you nervous? I'm a little bit nervous. Oh, the game minimized? Nothing's happening? Okay, there we go. Whew, we have a loading screen. Wake up! I would love to, game. Oh. The breathing. Oh. God, this game is pretty, and we are going to have to turn the sensitivity down even more. There's something in the sky up there. Everything I've ever heard about this game has said, avoid spoilers if at all possible. Do whatever you have to do. Murder a family member if they want to tell you about this game. Avoid a spoiler. Don't even look up a description of the game. I have not done any of that. Slates has a oddly shaped head. I'm sorry, Slate, that I said that. That seems a little rude of me. Let's roast a marshmallow. Nope. Move stick. I'm trying. Extend, extend stick. Oh, ah, piss. I burnt it. You don't... Ooh. You don't want to get it toasty. Or sorry, you don't want to get it toasted. You want to get it toasty. Ah, shit. There's our pilot. Oh, yeah, four eyes. There's our pilot back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. Anyway, you need to get the launch codes from Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever, okay? Launch codes, come back here. We got daytime over here. Time is moving so quickly. Huh. Ooh, it was an eclipse. I think. And there's another moon right there. Or something. With something else. What is happening here? Oh, we're going for it. Oh, buddy! Ah! <laughs> Alright. We hit Q to reset here. Okay. How much, how much thrust do I have? We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Huzzah! Do I want to land it in there? Uh-oh. Oh, well, am I supposed to land on those things right there? Oh, that's not bad. Not hard at all. It's really hard to judge the 3D... the 3D distance. My computer wants to know if I want to turn on sticky keys. Close? Okay. Game back open. And? And? Oh, no! Ah, oh, shit! All right, I blame the sticky keys on that one. Micah, we're cracked. What a landing. I guess why that's why Slate lets you fly the real thing, huh? Hopefully Slate didn't see the first five attempts, you know? Uh, what are you up to? Just finished sealing up another batch of sap wine for aging. I like to begin aging a batch on the day of a significant occasion, you know? That's what I'm telling you. It feels, it's so like, it's such an interesting emotional mood that I'm in right now. I feel like I'm, it's like graduation day, launch day. It, it feels like, yeah. A graduation of sorts. And maybe it is. I don't know. That's why there are so many bottles labeled Structural Collapse and House Fire. The launch pad is flammable. You didn't realize that? Don't worry. It's held up for all the launches so far. It'll definitely be fine for yours. Probably. The dialogue here is very well written. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I, uh, I like to talk about the writing in games a ton. Uh, I have a master's degree in creative writing. Writing is very important to me. Reading is very important to me. So I like paying attention to that kind of stuff. Uh, it's like really fun for me to keep an eye on that kind of stuff and see when it's done really well. 
It's just like the thing that I'm noticing is everything has a touch of humor to it. I want to ask this question. We all know you have it out for that tree. The the town lumberjack hate, hates the uh, the town tree. What? No, I just think it's in the way, and someone ought to chop it down. You know, specifically me. Haha. <laughs> 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 you think this has to do with the time I fell out of it and broke my arm? <laughs> that was when we were hatchlings. Who would hold a grudge for that long? Marl. Good old fucking Marl. Oh, that's the launch pad. That is 100% flammable. Holy shit. Yeah, that's a, that's a fire hazard just waiting. I think I can jump up here. So I have to try this. I have to try this. Is there a save mechanic? No save mechanic. Okay. You ready? As soon as it starts blasting. There it is! up here holy cow oh we're dead oh i shouldn't have done that obviously what anytime you die the credits run okay i can't be the first person who's died in the first no 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 come on new expedition number two What's gonna happen this time? Do they have the same di- I have so many questions. Hi, Slate. Back from our pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. Launch day, eh? I- Oh, man. I would not have expected having to re-start the game in my first, uh... My first episode. You're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? They really don't explode as often as anymore? Uh, I'm told my odds of survival are statistically quite high. By the way, Good luck with those retro rockets. What's that mean? Okay, I'm obsessed with staring at the sky in this game so far. What is happening in this game? I really love it. I don't know what it, it is exactly, but I do love it. It's so cute. So this must be our village. Right there. That's the observatory. Wow, that was cool. Like, there's so much. Now that I say that, there's not. Right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a lot of planetary bodies out there. Danger! Inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter, a strange and dangerous substance that's invisible to the naked eye. Good news is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. I mean, should we die? That would be dumb, right? Hmm... I'm obsessed with whatever is happening up here. What is going on in the sky? That's so many bodies. It's cool that little scouts can detect ghost matter and all, but what would be really cool is if the little scout could like shoot ghost matter at stuff. Oh, pew, pew, pew. Okay, so now I have a question. I wonder if I'm definitely gonna die in there. Okay, we get out of there. Holy cow, all right, maybe not. <gasps> no, not again! I'm dead! <gasps> I'm not dead. I'm dead, for sure. As soon as I land. As soon as I land. I have to land back in there. Oh my god, what a view, though. I might be dead, but what a view. Land, land, land it, land it, land it, land it. I think I'm drowning. Damn it, we've died twice in two episodes. <laughs> Zero G cave, zero G cave. Suit up. Just gonna send it? Are we just gonna send it? Zero out of three repaired. Okay. Repair the satellite node. Wow, that is really satisfying. The locking system? Good little tutorial here. Tutorial around town. God, that suit is really sort of frayed looking for being a thing that I'm going to trust to take me into space. <laughs> what in the hell is going on in here? Hornfuls, Gossin, Feldspar, Esker, and Slate. These are all the homies. Outer Wilds Ventures, Tim Timber Hearth's first and only space program, was founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Feldspar was the first Hearthian to be intentionally launched. <laughs> to be intentionally <laughs> To be intentionally launched into space, they completed the first orbit around Timberhearth. 
Oh, buddy, do we got some stuff to figure out today. New exhibit. I love this. This is beautiful. I want to visit this in real life. Watch closely. These balls move on their own. Whoa, they do. Is it tides? Wait, wait, wait. Like magnetism? What's up? The ground is perfectly level. So what do you think causes this spooky motion? The moon. As it orbits our planet, the Adel Rock's gravity pulls, an object, pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. That's lovely. This is doing that thing like the first time as a kid you visit like the science museum or something and you like touch your hand to the to the machine that makes your hair stick out, you know? Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorated pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in the universe, universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Is it a Nomai skull? Yeah, parts of the Nomai skeleton. We can tell from their skulls they possessed antlers and quite unusually, only three eyes. So I love that the planet is called Hearth and, and we are called Hearthians. Cause it's just close enough to, uh, to Earth, but also with the like warmth of home connotation of Hearth. Oh, good detail. Ooh, is it an anglerfish? <laughs> This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. What's going on out here? Ooh, we have two things and a missing third. Strange rock moving around in the grotto appears to react to conscious observation. But Gabbro claims the rock, quote unquote, exists in all possible states until it is observed. Whatever that means. Schrodinger's rock out here? Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. It's one rock. It's fully one rock. This is wild. You are here. The Hourglass Twins. Now we have the map. Riddle Hollow. Oh, which looks exactly like its name. Oh, it's it's named so well. It looks exactly like its like its name. Hollow's Lantern, by the way. Oh, that's wild looking. This is giving me major Kerbal Space uh, Space Program vibes. Ember and Ash. Oh, well named. I knew I saw something off of it. It's got like the solar flares or whatever those are called. I think I'll start with something small. And I don't think we'll end that way. But I think I'll start with something small. You'd prefer to ease into things. That's a sensible plan. More sensible than most of our astronauts tend to be. And that's a fact. I'm ready to die in space or I'm ready to get off of this rock. Let's be honest. We haven't died yet today in this episode, which means we're two deaths in three episodes. So you got to pick the second one. Oh, it's looking at me. Oh, the eyes opened. This is my time here. That was my life so far. Are you going into space and never coming back like Feldspar did? I'm gonna come back. That's pretty disturbing. Hornfell says no one ever knows what happened. No one knows what happened to Feldspar. Hornfell says they got lost in space even though they were the best pilot ever. You're not as good as Feldspar, so you should really be careful not to get lost. All right, fucker. See you later. Goodbye. Looks like you're ready for takeoff. The excitement of a launch is fun and all, but I can't wait to get back to working on the new ship. We're working on fixing the autopilot's avoidance system for this one. Uh, sorry. I'll see you later, Timberhearth. It's time for me to get the F out of here. I love- oh my god, our ship is so freaking cute! Oxygen refill, spot a tree, walk towards it, enjoy. We are out of here. Goodbye. Horizontal thrust? Okay, I'm gonna need to- oh no. The Adel Rock, go for that. Oh God, no, 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 no. Oh no, did we just die? Please tell me we didn't die. I think we've done it. I think we just landed on the moon. We landed on the Adel Rock, uh, fully on accident. <laughs> hey, look, there's home. Holy shit. 
It's pretty outer wild to look at if you if you ask me. I'm sorry. That's a terrible joke. Esker's signal scope log. Okay. Esker's supposedly here. Day 51, listen to Chirp play for a while today. Unrelated, someone should tell Porphy and Goss and they're flirting. Is not subtle from an aerial perspective. Today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know, it's probably nothing. It's back again today too. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. It sounds exactly like Feldspar's harmonica, but Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. It can't be them. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken? I'd better talk to Nice. Let's see what happens when it spins around. Basically the smoking area. Oh, it's strange. Okay. Oh, we have a puzzle. Okay. What is happening here? All of those are lined up right now. Wait, what the fuck? Did I just guess that correctly? Everything's lined up with the sun right now. I was upstairs texting, testing the eye signal locator, which is in golden text. And it can hear and follow the signals from the sun, Giant's Deep, and Brittle Hollow. An update. Uh, Cassava says it saddens me to pause at this, my friends, but I believe this locator cannot detect the eye's signal. We would need to build a more sensitive device if we want to locate the eye of the universe. The eye is the eye of the universe. More writing? Yes. Thatch says, where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal locator is. The Southern Glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. Southern Glacier on Brittle Hollow. So let's try a different one here. See what happens here. So now where are they going to point? What is this one? I don't know. Oh, is this the one that just makes it swim wildly? Oh, that's the one that makes it swing wildly. Oh, okay. Well, we found the rune. I'm going to go get some more oxygen and then we're going to leave and explore more of the moon. Less than two hours. Oh shit, that's too much, that's too much. And I feel as if I am like... Listen, what does that sound? What? Occasionally it like backs up its memory? Did I die? I mean, first off, you gotta do it. You know, yeah, it's just like part of the rules. You know, it, I don't make the rules. In this family, we burn a marshmallow, we eat it, and then we can talk to Slate. You ready to get off this thing? Did I just die? Whoa, bad dream or something? You still look half asleep. But that's a negative on being deceased. Slate doesn't know that I just I just had that. You just get the feeling from this game that like, you don't know what's around the corner. And I don't. I have no idea. I'm going in. If it means that I die, I die. Yeah. Okay. Now every time I die? You're lucky I'm in a time loop because otherwise I'd be super dead. You're lucky I don't have you grounded for medical reasons because I have no idea what you're talking about. We're starting to get a taste of what this game is really about, I think. Okay, Outer Wilds with the... <laughs> incredible. With the flag on the planet. On the moon, sorry, it's a moon. Oh no, I just realized. If I hit quit, what happens? Oh no. You fucking game. Welcome back. To the same episode. <laughs> There's no save. This was going to be my last episode recording for the day. There's no save. Of course there's not. Of course there's not, because we're in a time loop. All right, screw it. Let's just die without oxygen. I think we're going to have to send it. I think we're just going to have to send it. Three, two, one, launch. Ooh. Fifty percent fuel remaining. That's fine. Okay. Oh, that's a door. Is it a Naomi door? Mining site B. What are you mining? Here's the question, right? Here's the question. The whole reason we're going down here is because of, of a harmonica sound. Down to the right. Okay. 
All right. Potentially feldspar. Those are bones. Oh, <gasps> no, my bones. Holy Naomi bones. Holy shit. Oh, no, I'm dead. Oh, no, I'm not dead. My, those are mining holes for sure. Whoa, interesting. What does this do? Will I burn? Or will this shoot up a, a geyser? Yes, it will. Holy shit. Oh, ah! I made it. I have no tank left. Brian Eno says, I'm still amazed by how much ore the Ash Twin project requires. The Ash Twin project requires. Last we heard about one of the twins, they were building a like lunar something on it. Lunar something is what they called it. The material for those towers is all being taken from Ash Twin. The ore we're mining here will be used to craft an immensely thick protective shell that will physically seal off the chamber. We have to go to the core of Ash Twin, apparently. If eventually life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced metallurgy, I'm confident we won't have destroyed their ability to create. Okay, good. So they're, they're being cautious. They don't want to use all of our ore. I like these people. I like them a lot. Like scrolls. What the fuck is happening? I don't know that I like that. I want to do it again, though. <laughs> Can I keep my flashlight on? I cannot keep my flashlight on. Can I move? Can I interact? Oh, no. Yero, my gratitude for the latest shipment, you know. This ore should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin project. Okay. Yero and Eno. Ash Twin project is done. We'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better, as the smallest flaw or opening in the shell that protects the Ash Twin project could lead to disaster. Once we've finished the shell that seals off. The central chamber will check to. What the fuck is going on? Is this the same thing that happened when I was on the moon? When we were on the moon, flying through space, literally hurtling through space, <sighs> we saw an explosion, blue light, and a enormous rumbling like that sound, which killed me and took me back. I thought I fucked up on the moon. I thought I did something that killed me, but I was in the middle of reading a translation. Are we getting like struck by a missile or something? I don't know. I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in here though. I have so many questions. I have more questions and what, and what, like, what did we expect? Right? What am I alive? Is it working? Yes. Nothing but questions in this game so far. This game is fucking with me in the best possible way. And now it's my turn to fuck with the game back, you know? All right. So this one looks like it'll suck you away right like it's the water's going that direction where am i going take me away i am in space i have to be how do i land this how do i land this how do i land this <gasps> please don't kill me oh my god it worked yo is that the stone that disappeared Where's the rock now, huh? Now it's here. I want to read any of the signs that pop up, which means I have to keep looking at them or else they will disappear. <laughs> I must keep looking. In the ancient glade across old bark, the quiet shade, it's always dark. That's the same, that's the same uh, piece of writing. I wonder if it's always the same piece of writing. The quiet shade, oh my God, did they re... <laughs> I'm losing my mind. They reordered it. You fuckers. What about out here? Is stuff the same in the same place when you look away? This game's going to give me trust issues, man. Is stuff in the same place when I look away? Tree? Tree. Okay. All right. Yo, is this the evolution of like... Of... of I was going to say man, but of like whatever race I am? Whatever species I am? Those were us so long ago when the Naomi visited. That's the Naomi sim uh, symbol. 
for like their eyes, their three eyes, and then their antlers and stuff. After closer observation, mining site 2A wouldn't be safe for the native life dwelling in some of this cave's pools. So unfortunately, we'll have to mine one of the other sites. I think we're that native life. On the, uh, on the opposite hand, new life. This species is semi-aquatic and very hardy. The ecosystem here is quite robust. I believe they'll thrive in the long run. Be cautious near the pools if you visit 2A to meet them. We're going to thrive in the long run. That's so sweet. I was watching them once during a rest, and the hours escaped from me. They're fascinating. I wonder what their fourth eye does. Is this the sound? That's the sound. I'm dead. You ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> this is actually going to hurt our chances here, but I'm going to turn these off. Because I don't want time to be frozen right now. I want to do the math based on 17 minutes. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I'm dead. Oh no. I'm dead. <laughs> Least successful flight of all time. Fuck. No name. 30 meters a second is a lot. We are going to try and 30 meters a second would be enough to kill us. What am I looking at here? Seems very smooth. There's no name for it though. Zero second, zero meters, five meters a second, five meters a second. Wait, no, wait, no, wait, wait, where'd you go? What? Is it because I looked away? No, no, come back. Put me on the light side of the moon, please. I'm never going to look away. Velocity matched. I can still see it. I can still see it. I can still see it. I just disappeared through it. What? Are we on? We're not on the South Pole. That. Yep. It, it has moved. Yep. These, mo these rocks, man. The trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander about freely. The entire plant, roots and all. This is not normal, Plume says. So Plume knows too. This isn't Plume's doing. Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There is other matter in this area, such as that unusual shard of rock, moving in the same eerie way. Beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. This knowledge held within will help you on your journey. This is as if... This is perfect timing. That's exactly what I would like to do. Plume, Felix, and I have determined this atypical shard of rock is the reason objects in this grave are behaving in a quantum manner, of course. Suppose there are other shards like this one. I've seen the one on Timber Hearth. I've not seen the other ones. This quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. Incredible. I have to say, this is my favorite planet so far. Because if you're on this planet, you're just like one rogue asteroid away from everything, your entire existence ending. You're just always flexing and nervous that you're going to get hit by a falling piece of debris. Dude, it feels like the first time you walk into the nether in Minecraft. And it's just like, oh, you mean there's a ceiling? God, it's just all mirrored down there. Oh, it gives me the heebie-jeebies a little bit, actually. I am seeing... The roof disappeared. Whoa. Bells, be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you're making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs, obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. I understand now. I'll be walking on it. So I need to, I need to run and jump this shit. Oh no. Nope. No, I don't. I just want to get there, though. I just want the knowledge. I want to get to the place. I just want to get to the place, though. Fuck. Oh, I just ran right off the edge. No! Can I land on this? Am I dead? Oh, that's a black hole at the center of the universe. I'm dead. You, quantum moon, get me there. Honey, I could take you there. I have no idea where I am. I hit something. Vitals are critical. Nope, let me... Nope, nope. <laughs> I'm upside down.
Is the hardest part of this tragedy not knowing who we may have lost, or will the hardest part come later when we learn? Be well, Aunt Melorda. I think when I went through the, like, black hole thing, I think these are just random, potentially... Oh, we could go back through it, I think, maybe. Oh, the music's happening, too. Right there. Go for that. Go for that. It's the stairs. Get me out of here. We're dead. Fuck. To our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle, Brittle Hollow's Black Hole. On the other side of Brittle Hollow's Black Hole, our design worked. We've successfully created warp travel. This is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower, although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. Did I accidentally do something fucking awesome? Has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis. Could it be a shift in the light spectrum? No, it looks... It disappears when you look away. Suppose this moon is too shy to show its face. What am I looking at up here? I feel like it was the south pole of this planet that they were going to build something. There's like power going between it. Right? The Naomi were going to build an eye of the universe like station. Is everyone unharmed? No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact? We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down this clip. cliff. Perhaps we could build platforms. Okay. Oh, I have to get close enough and then it will actually... Yo, I didn't know that. All right, well, we found a Naomi escape pod. What if there's anything I can do with it? Platforms. Platforms out the back. This is what they mentioned. Okay. <gasps> okay, all right, all right, all right. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. We're not gonna die, we're not gonna die. <gasps> oh, no, 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 oh, it started falling. Oh my God. That was so stressful. Oh, it fell off. These seem safe so long as you walk slowly. No, yo, yo. Given concerns about our settlement stability, where should we construct a new, less temporary shelter? I agree. We're here because the eyes signal called to us and we followed. If we're to find it, we need to not merely survive, but to thrive. This is a wise point, Plume, and eloquently made. If moving to the northern glacier will keep us safer, that is what we must do. A permanent structure up that way. <gasps> no way. Is that... Is that scripted to happen? Oh my god. I wonder what was supposed to be that way. I didn't get a chance to read any of it. That was fucking whack. Honestly, I feel like when I look at it, it just makes me want to dive headfirst into it. All hail the abyss. All hail the void. What? The music is starting. Brittle Hollow is falling apart before my very eyes. I don't know what to do about it. More stuff is falling. I wonder if mine, mine will ever fall in there. There it is. There it is. You have to admit it's pretty. What a fucking game. I think the sun is going like supernova. I'm pretty sure. 21 minutes, I think. Um, all right. So here's my question. Is Brittle Hollow always falling apart that aggressively? It can't possibly, right? This knowledge is too dear to lose. Here is everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. So they're writing down the signal about the eye, the thing up here. The signal looked like an eye, round with a circle at the center, much like a pupil. Suppose the signal was looking for something? Older than the universe itself, this is the most significant detail. Older than the universe itself. Okay. Imagine what rare and profound knowledge it might offer. We must find this eye of the universe. Sure, sure. How do you recommend doing that? You got any any clues or hints for an aspiring gamer? What the hell? The eye sending out a signal to a ship. The ship being sucked into a by a thorny something. I can't understand why did the vessel crash in that place? 
I'm afraid for our friends in Escape Pod 3. Is this talking about this planet? Like, they found a, a thing, a signal. They landed on Brittle Hollow, which is like sort of destroying them. I can't tell what those are. These are the three escape pods, I think. Oh, the three escape pods. One of them goes nowhere or something? One of them goes here to Brittle Hollow and one of them goes to the twins. How do you go about designing a world like this? In so many ways, right? Like, first off, how do you keep me safe as a, as a gamer? Is it possible that the one that I'm on falls apart and dies? I don't know. So far, it hasn't happened. But, I don't know. Okay, we made it to here, but where from here? Right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Go, 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 go. Wow, this is so trippy. This is so like Inception. The city is like being built around you. Oh, this has such a insane, look at that. There's the, uh, the, the ghost matter. <gasps> oh, this has such an insane like metal vibe to it now, you know? Like imagine the, the world is just like, I'm on, I'm on 21 minutes to, to save the world over and over and over again. I understand now. This is a whole ass city, an enormous city, and that's its elevator. I understand now. Nope. Jump. No, go. No. I fucked it. Okay, giant's deep. This ought to be fun. Uh oh, Lord. Uh, uh, uh. What is that? Uh, what the fuck is going on? Uh, what is that? Yo, I played too much Subnautica already. Don't don't tell me that's a freaking uh, a giant squid of some sort. Think we can do this? Think we just landed on top? What the fuck? I just got launched into space. Nope, 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 nope. Now it's going back down. <sighs> okay. Deep breaths. Cassava. I have bad news, Avens. Yara says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here. Haha. <laughs> I wish I were, my friend, but no. They aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cam cannon is on indefinite hiatus. Aw, oh, man. That's like LCD sound system, man. When they went on indefinite hiatus, it broke my heart. Let's translate this. Seven minutes, nine seconds ago. Long range probe successfully launched from the orbital probe cannon. Okay. Wait, it's updating. On this planet with two times gravity, everything is sucked down into the water, which of course then sucks you into the like current, which sucks you into a tornado, which sends you back out into space. Like everything is so this, this, oh man, this star system is so like constantly in chaos. Oh my God, look at this. Like we're gonna go fucking, we're flying. We're soaring. I swear I never, I, I haven't figured this out yet. If that isn't obvious, I have no idea what I'm looking at in this kind of stuff. I walk outside and then it, it stops. I don't know what these projection stones are yet. Is there a new reading? Kasaba. Kanoi, Daz, and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank down beneath the current. Okay. Kanoi, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current. Ours sank straight to the core. My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of Giant's Deep here at Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory and it reveals how an object might sink below the current. Okay, so on Brittle Hollow, they were doing science to help them understand Giant's Deep. I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. Oh, some answers about projection, thank God. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. Basically, this is telling you how to get to the Southern Observatory via the two places, Gravity Cannon and Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Okay, cool. I think what's happening here is that those are brittle, 
We're on Brittle Hollow right now. And those are like models of what's happening with the current, maybe? Gravity thing right there. There too. Oh, I ran out of oxygen. Fuck. <laughs> oh, man. Only this game could, could allow me to suffocate in the name of like figuring out the mystery, you know? This planet confuses me. Oh, fuck. Confuses me greatly. We're gonna land it right here. Seems like a great place, yeah? Honestly, I've never felt better than in this moment. This is the safest I've ever felt on this planet. Okay, well, we've made it to a whole nother place that I don't understand. <laughs> okay. Statue workshop. A oxygen refilled. Beautiful. Okay. They're gonna test the memory statues tonight. Flock says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. What if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Flock specifically told us not to do that. Levy says, I really wanna see the test too, Lammy, but that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Flocks will let us see a later test. The memory statues. That's, I, that's gotta be what I found. So why would they be interested in taking readings of someone's memory because i'm pretty sure that's what's happening to me i'm pretty sure my memory is being like harvested almost not in a like terribly uh everything about the nomai makes me trust them so like not in a way that scares me okay so here's what we're gonna do uh we're gonna try our damnedest oh fuck. oh i think i just died to fall damage back to giant steep we go i'm obsessed i need answers we have to go back i have to find more so how did they find their way in? Maybe it's like here. Under the water? All right, we're trying underneath the water. Oh my God, I think I found it. It was not that hard, but we did figure it out. Flox says, Yero, would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue? When pairing, uh, Bluetooth pairing my AirPods, when pairing, the statue will choose whoever is in closest proximity, okay? That tells us the statue is paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in the star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin Project. So my statue is the one on, tw on, on Timber Hearth? So in my experience, I have to die for the memory storage to work. Each statue will send a single Nomai's memories to his or her own storage unit within Ash Twin. Are they all dead? Are they all dead or are they all in uh, in like in like cryo sleep or something is that what's happening here the know my statues why would you make a system for recording memories and and sending them both ways i don't have any answers i'm just asking questions out loud the masks are the counterpart of the memory statue right that is 100 percent what this is these are masks which are statue counterparts some of them are glowing and some of them are not. Oh my God, that's 100% what this was. This is inside of Ash Twin or inside of the Ash Twin project. Yo, I'm so happy I encountered that without knowing what the fuck that was the first time. Those are storage units and some of them are glowing and some of them are not. Oh fuck, no, don't kill me. Please no, please no. I, I have so much to live for. No. Fuck. No! Ah! <laughs> fuck. Every memory recorded by a Nomai statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within Ash Twin. So here's the question. Why is one of them working for me? As an example, if we were to send my memories back in time, is that the same as sending me back in time? Not my physical body, but my essence. Can you send somebody's memories back in time? Do you know how to do that? I imagine they're two different actions, Daz says. Do they know, my, know how to time travel? Wouldn't both actions be effectively the same? Suppose that time was being rewritten. I believe this is different from receiving than receiving memories from what is effectively the future. I mean, I asked if the Nomai know how to travel, know how to time travel, but like also here I am. So, um, okay, well. Goodbye, planet. 
Kerbal Space Program docking maneuver. Huh. Oh, soft set down. See ya. Oh my God. One, two, and three. The three parts. The three parts of the probe. God, their designs are so fucking cool. You know? Okay. Well, we got a projection stone. Let's see. Launch module. Projection stone. Are we in the control module right now? So does this just look over into the other one? Something floating in, in, in the building. Something about this one's like broken. Like their gravity is broken in the launch module. It's a demonstration. Probe cannon is aiming. It looks like information being sent between the two. What is this? It looks a little bit like Brittle Hollow, yeah? Oh no, I fell. All right, we move it now. Bring it, bring it away, put it here. Orbital probe cannon. It fell apart. Is this telling the story? We do have 13 minutes and 33 seconds ago. Request to launch probe received from the Ash Twin project. So, cannon aligned with randomly selected probe trajectory. Gravity field activated. So, in our current timeline, they did launch the probe from the Ash Twin project, which is where the memories are stored. So that means in the war like in the timeline of my time loops, the probe has just broken. Like truly just did. I wonder if we can watch it at the start of a time loop. Begin launch log. Orbital probe cannon. Launch request received. Probe launch successful. Probe tracking module is receiving data from probe. Orbital probe cannon structure. Compromised during launch. Damage to multiple modules detected. Control module is intact, which is where we are. No structural damage. Launch module, viewport window has been fractured. Module exposed to vacuum of space. That's what we looked into in the window earlier, in the, uh, the pool earlier. Probe tracking module is just missing. Mallow, my better 50%, my better half. Kasava is sending the last of the cannon components soon, relatively speaking. We'll know the eye's precise location. So the orbital probe cannon is for finding the eye of the universe. The thought of concluding our elders' curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. Ouch, it warms my heart. Kasava tells me that he and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting. We are not under any circumstances to go above. <laughs> These are the two who are like, let's do it. I see, and am I right to think that consequently we'll be ignoring that setting? I can posit with nearly 100% certainty that our friends have accounted for our natures, so I suggest that we do. Giving the orbital probe cannon all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Unfortunately, it could not withstand the, the power. Best and worst of humans, man, the Nomai. They're written so well. Ugh. All right, we gotta go to one of the other modules. Can I not fit? They're, they're prompting me. I can't fit. Oh, shit. I launched that shit right through. I could go from the outside. Yep. Yep. We did it. We did it. We did it. Chill. Everybody chill. Everybody chill. Imagine, Privet. The probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. I'm honored and terrified. Hey. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once anyway. So who minds if it compromises the orbital probe cannon's structural integrity slightly? That's a friend who says, hey, fear not. It's, <laughs> instead of saying, nah, I would never do that. They go, nah, I'll be okay anyways. You know, I, it'll be fine anyways. <laughs> I would mind, Mallow. I would mind, because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Fuck. I understand. We need the probe tracking module in order to find the very data that we're looking for. All right, so here's the question. Probe tracking module. <gasps> this one sunk to the bottom of the fucking ocean. Wow. Know my statue, by the way? Oh, sevens. 
Yes, the blue light. Ah. Oh, I know that this is the death of me and Timberhearth and this whole star system. But, dude, it feels like, a, like an embrace of some sort. I swear. But I want to say something first. Which is that, like, I'm the, I'm the kind of person who legitimately finds comfort. And I recognize that this is not for everybody. But I'm, I'm the kind of person who legitimately finds comfort. And I, a lot of times I, I comfort myself by reminding myself that, like, humans are probably not, like, particularly long for this Earth uh, when you think on large timescales. And, and we've really not been here very long uh, when you think on large timescales. And I'm, like, I'm comforted by the eventual, like, heat death of our universe, you know, by the fact that, like, uh, our earth will eventually be consumed by, you know, by the sun. Like for me, that is, uh, in a very large and long-term sense, <laughs> this is all going to amount to nothing is one way of thinking of it. Or this is all going to be a, a, a distant memory and to have this game, have it happen to like, make it happen to you. Like, of course it's terrifying. Of course I want to save Timber Hearth. Like I'm not, I'm not throwing like, hope and optimism and like my drive to treat the people of timber hearth better and maybe save this world i hope that i have a chance to save this world in this game but i also got the chance to like in this game specifically just now floating in the cold void of space witness the sort of what i would call the like end all be all it's going to be okay because it's going to pass like nothing that happens to us is truly all that important uh in the big big scheme of things i don't know Maybe that maybe that sounds crazy to you. Maybe that doesn't like. Maybe you don't relate. And I, I leave space for your interpretation there and your and the way that you find meaning in, in life. But it's just really beautiful, man. And I'm just really glad I've been playing this game. And I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna call it an episode there. Welcome. Is that it right now? <gasps> that was the probe. I have to die. I have to die to watch it again. That was the probe. I have to die, and I'm gonna watch it again. Welcome to Outer Wilds. I'm gonna, uh, commit, uh, uh, I'm gonna commit Sudo uh, Sudoku. Um, that'll do it. <laughs> Orbital probe cannon. It's the moment the probe cannon, the probe launches that I wake up. Gavro, what are you doing? Homie. Nice. It's you. <laughs> nice. It's you. Good to see you made it here in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? Yeah, I'm definitely on my first solo launch right now. So, hey, don't forget or anything, but lately I keep, like, dying repeatedly. I don't know. It's pretty weird. No, it's me too. We're in the time loop. So it's not only me. Gabbro is doing the same shit. Time has been behaving usually, unusually lately. A time loop makes sense. Cool. Looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell that time's gone all weird. That is the major question I I, I, I was wondering. So, thank you for answering it, Gabro. You too, huh? Then the Nomai statues must have something to do with why we're the only ones aware of the time loop. No glowing statue, no time loop awareness. What's up with this planet? I know, right? Here's something you might like. At the start of every time loop, I keep seeing a bright flash in the sky. Something must be happening up there in the orbit around the planet. I'm so glad we found that out ourselves right before Gabro tells us. Oh, that was that was Gabro's poem? I found your quantum poem. The one in the woods, I remember writing that. Pretty fun, right? It works out to a good 24 poems. When I'm done exploring, I want to make some more quantum art. Maybe some kind of creature sculpture that just like shows up and scares the living daylights out of you. That's fucking terrifying. I'm gonna look over my shoulder real quick. Nothing, okay. So let's just hover over the pole. Okay, I think it's right over the pole. I'm looking at my map on the left-hand side. Yo. I have no idea what I'm looking at, but I'm a fucking genius. What is this? Big tower, big tower, okay. This might be the only safe place on this whole goddamn planet. Be welcomed in this place. This tower shares with all who ask the knowledge needed to make his or fir her first quantum journey. Please, am I actually going to get the knowledge? Oh, I can't wait. Seek the wandering arch. Yep, if I look away. All right. I 
can't. There it is. I was stuck on a lip of, of something. Unidentified signal nearby. Island shard. Frequency discovered. Quantum fluctuations. Oh. Observing a quantum object. Observing an image of a quantum object. These are the same. Does that mean using my my thing to take pictures of them? Is that how you get it to stay? Is that? Oh my god, is that it? <laughs> Anchor it in place with your scout launcher, which I've always thought was the weirdest fucking tool in the game, and it turns out it has the most important purpose. Oh, I got stuck. I didn't mean to. I just actually want to go over there and read that thing. I didn't mean to do this. Oh no, don't go in. Don't go in. Don't go in. Nope. Oh my god, I'm getting stuck. The arch and crystal do not naturally meet. The arch and the crystal do not nat naturally meet. So arch, I understand. You have to solve puzzles now. Now we take a picture of them both. They're both locked. Yes. Beautiful. This is the last one, but we made it harder. I love that. No. There. Stay. And then I need to take a picture of you. Stay. Yes. Holy fucking shit, this game. We offer our congratulations. You've learned the rule of quantum imaging. Take this knowledge with you on the remainder of your quantum uh, pilgrimage. Remember, the other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. Okay. You walk in the footsteps of those who came before you, and your path guides those who will follow later. I have actual goosebumps right now. I don't know what to say other than that I'm just, like, wild, you know? It's so obvious in ret retrospect, too, right? Is this Feldspar? It is. Let's go. I can't believe I couldn't find where Feldspar was, and it turns out Feldspar was just at the North Pole the whole time. Just having a bonfire. Heyo, hatchling. Thought you were taking that tin can of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? Yo, look at Tektite's leg. Aw. Tektite has a prosthesis. What crashed? I don't know what it is exactly. It looks like some kind of plant seed. It's not anything I've seen on Timber Hearth before, and trust me, I was quite the explorer back in the day. It kind of looks like something that might have come off Dark Bramble, the planet. Whatever it is, it puts down it put down roots in a hurry. I'll have to get a look at what's inside the seed first, though. Don't want to set anybody to hacking up a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea what's lurking inside there. Oh, it's just still going. Oh! <gasps> It's just going to go forever. My signal scope is picking up a harmonica inside of the seed. Listen here, don't go telling nice about the harmonica music, okay? They'll never let me get rid of this darn seed if they suspect it has any musical talent. I don't know how seriously to take that line, actually. Oh, there's more here. Ouch. All right, I'm out. Tech tight, it's all yours. That seems like a mystery for another day. There's a shack. Unidentified signal nearby. Every single astral body in our magnificent solar system. S looking stunning from every uh, angle in these each of these three images. Hold on, what is that? That can't be right. I mean, that's not even possible. Am I interpreting this photo correctly? There must have been an equipment malfunction, I suppose. Only sensible explanation for it. Is it this one? Radio tower, the deep space radio. I don't know that we're going to find anything here. I'm just curious about what this is. And I don't remember if the interloper was actually the name of the satellite. Also, what is that? <gasps> oh, fucking shit. I just saw that coming out of nowhere. Oh, that's the white hole. Oh. This is troublesome. It seems the... What am I looking at here? It seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. That's my ship right now, I'm sure. Suppose one of us remained in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring the surface. This would be wise, I think, Claire. If you don't mind waiting here with it, Poke and I can continue to investigate the surface. So this is the shuttle? Interesting. It does look like it froze over. I'm just trying to make sure there's nothing else here. It doesn't look like there is, honestly. It doesn't look like... There's much on this, uh, on this planet. Oh, 
fuck? My ship is like leaving, by the way. Oh no, my ship, my ship, my ship. Where are you going? Yep, yep. Take me inside. Oh my God, get me out of there. Holy shit. There's more to explore here? Aw, oh, shit. So, how can I pull this off? Okay. We have a picture of it. I Technically, I only need one picture of it. I don't need to keep hitting the button. I have the picture. Please work. Is this working? Fuck. I should not have... Fuck! I can't... Oh, I can't go into that! <laughs> so, I guess all we gotta do, really, is hit it once and then take a picture, yeah? And that's it. So, technically, we've got it. Four times a charm. Fuck. I think that was going to work. Ooh. We've done it. We've done it. We've done it. Honestly, I hope the ship's okay. If it's not, that's cool too. <gasps> no. What? But I also, I killed it, I think. On the other hand, okay. I'm seeing bones in here. Oh, dude, holy shit. I don't know what happened. I don't know if I killed it or not. I can't tell. Oh, that's so creepy. Oh, the music is not helping. Sol Solanum says, I am here after watching it wander the skies for so long. I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. Same. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of the journey on foot. I think I landed, yeah, very close to the South Pole too. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the South Pole, just that this is true. The universe is, and we are. I am ready. The universe is, and we are. What is this? <gasps> What's happening here? I don't know where I am. I'm Brittle Hollow. Okay, I am Brittle Hollow. Okay, okay. We're shooting out of something on Brittle Hollow when that happens. That makes those appear. Just, just a gravity beam. That would go forward, yeah? Oh, buddy. Or, or not. All right, well, the quantum moon continues to confuse. We landed on the moon, and we have way more questions than we have than we got answers. Please tell me I did not land on top of a fucking Nomai this time. Found a dead Nomai in a spacesuit near the South Pole. That's some lovely phrasing. I did not, for the record, kill a Nomai. As far as I'm aware. I hate seeing him dead, man. I really do. I don't like it. God, they have insane, insane looking bodies, though. I think they're technically masks and, and, and suits, but these look like enormous projectors on top of their head, you know? That's what it makes me think of is sort of a projector. Um, tra travel between... Oh my god. It disappeared. <laughs> Wait, did my ship disappear too? No. Okay. <laughs> All right, we gotta get the scout launcher out. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, writing. Okay. You have recalled the rule of quantum imaging. Yes, I have. Recall the rule of the sixth location. I don't know the rule of the sixth location. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement. I don't know the rule of quantum entanglement. I think I'm not ready here. I don't know that I'm ready. Is quantum entanglement where you just hit it full force into the ceiling? Let's see what happens. No. I can't go over them. I'm in space. I'm dead. I'm dead. And I just left my ship on the quantum moon. <laughs> okay, so there's Ember, Ember Twin and then there's Ash Twin. Ember and Ash. Let's go for Ember first. All right, so they're just always tracking where other items are. Welcome to uh, Ember Twin, by the way. 
it just occurred to me like last episode by the way maybe earlier this episode when we saw that that tower on the moon that it's a quantum moon not a quantum planet <laughs> of course it's orbiting one of the planets in the so if i really need to find it i just look one planet to the next it's got to be orbiting one of them or none of them i guess it could i guess it could be not existing at all and around the eye of the universe instead or whatever but oh my god is that how you use it do you use the quantum moon to get it to go to travel between planets slash the eye of the universe oh my god i can't wait to reflect on this theory in like 40 episodes given its reluctance to move while consciously observed it might be a form of micro macroscopic quantum mechanics hey i think you might be right about that one what do you got for me Quantum moon locator is functioning. We have markers for each of the places the moon goes. I thought the locator now accounted for all of the phantom moon's locations, but sometimes the locator can't tell where the moon is. Perhaps there's a problem with the device? It's also possible there exists a sixth place, a sixth location, in this star system to which the phantom moon travels. I thought that was a connected bar, but it is definitely movement. What happens when it runs over that area yo that place is crazy unidentified signal nearby oh you're right here hi chert <laughs> yeah you're so tiny i almost looked right past you how's it going the stars they're all dying there have been too many supernovas for it to be anything else we're next do you understand our sun by hearth's name we're next what do you mean we're next it's the stars you see all the other stars are dying out oh why did we have to be born at the end of the universe and our sun it da, da, da. the star charts why why did i want to update them so badly i didn't have to know but oh but no oh no i had to update the star charts i had to go looking for things i shouldn't have and now our sun is about to about to oh yeah i would say you have probably about two minutes sure if you ha if i had to guess i don't feel well i'd like to be alone please Oh. Where should I explore here? Where should you go? Where can anyone go? Can't you see it's too late now? Aw, oh, Chert. It's kind of ironic that I got to Chert at like minute 19 of a 21 minute time loop. Because he's real. They're, they're really right. They're so right right now. And they have no idea how right they are. How dangerous is that big column of falling sand? Not as dangerous as what's about to happen to our entire solar system. Okay. All right. Well. Oh, I'm sorry, Chert. I really am. With the knowledge of all of the of the certain death that is coming for Chert, what Chert has chosen to do with Chert's time is play some lovely music. You know? Honestly, Chert, I think you could do so much worse. And I'm I'm proud of you. Collapse in on itself and then explode outwards. Supernova. Okay, so the ash is not currently being sucked up, yeah? Yo, it's filling. It's filling with ash. Oh my god, of course. Oh my god, that's insane. So for now, it's like mostly empty. So then we have to go... This is wild. I thought Giant's Deep was chaotic. Oh, this is... Oh man, claustrophobic. This passage leads to breathable air. Refill your supply tank there. We cannot tell how far deep these tunnels may wind, but do not linger as the air is exposed to the heat of the alien sun. Oh, dude, the claustrophobia. Holy shit. We must hurry as the pathway there is filling with sand. Do not allow yourself to be buried by sand. Make sure no one is lost. Oh, my God. Is that an anglerfish? Oh, no fucking way. Oh, my God. Fucking shit. I just added. Oh, my God. That scared the shit out of me. Okay. All right. Oh, God. All right. That's fine. 60 seconds. Beautiful news for you. Beautiful news for you, friend. Oh, should we build the sun station to power the Ash Twin project? Look at the little globe on the left-hand side of the screen. Look at how much we've traversed here. I understand this proposal is unsettling. The sun station must be built if we hope to complete the Ash Twin project. So when you say sun station, 
What do you mean? The purpose of the sun station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to and everything we believe in as a species. Unsurprisingly, Idea, I disagree. We're pushing a possible new technology farther than ever before. That, in my experience, is the defining characteristic of our species. This is a very human conversation. If we fail, and the probability of this is not insignificant, we will without question destroy ourselves, all life here, and the rest of this star system. I wish to protect these species. Fear of failure is a poor reason not to try. I believe if we are cautious, the sun station will work. I believe in pi. And now I've got a million questions, right? Is my universe, my, my star system is currently being destroyed. No, my. Did you do this to me? And to my, and to, and to us? Or is this a coincidence? Did you debate using a sun station and back off and you use something else? Or you, or you decided not to use anything at all and the sun just also happens to be going supernova? Or, and I think this might be more likely, are we in this mess because they fucked up and they did something using the sun station and they are also trying to get us out of this mess by sending us through time links and, and dan like, and like communicating with our memories and one massive piece of information at a time. We'll see what this thing is here in just a second, but that's huge. That's really huge. And the other thing is that it changes my understanding of the Nomai, right? Like, at every stage so far, the Nomai have been not only uh, greater technologically than the Harthians, they have also been debatably wiser uh, and definitely more intelligent, technologically savvy than humans. And now they have a like really human bent to them, right? Is it lights? It is lights, okay. I have such a love-hate relationship with this game, man. I love it so much. And part of the reason that I love it so much is that it is so cruel to do shit like this to us. Give us an incredible, beautiful, complex, deep sense, uh, 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 deep world to play in and give me 21 minutes to do it. And really give me a lot fucking less than that. You know? All right, so we have these fissures here. I mean, this has to be it, yeah? Let's go into it. Okay, we're in the ice. Oh, buddy. Okay, it cracks. It's gotta be because we're near the sun. I think that's gotta be. Uh, I think that I think that makes a lot of sense. Okay, so you can go part of the way down. <gasps> no, 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 I slid because of the ice. Oh, fuck. Don't do this to me. That was a mistake. Shit! Uh, once again, I find that I am doing 16 things at once in this game and doing none of them well. <laughs> but. Ghost matter detected nearby. Oh, we can read. Okay. I'm receiving much stronger energy readings now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever it is must lie somewhere below, closer to the comet's center. And I'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realized. Fuck me. Okay. Keep the shuttle warm for us, Clary. We'll return the moment we identify the source of the energy readings. I understand, but be cautious, both of you. We're gonna. I'm going to want to explore all of them before. Uh, oh, get out! Get out! Get out! Oh my god! I nearly died. Oh my god! This is a nightmare. Oh, we can look into it though. No! No, the, the jets! I hit the jets! Oh, buddy. Am I about to go right into it? Okay, we gotta go to the right here. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Ghost matter in the, in the middle. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. <gasps> oh, we did it. Okay. Whew. We're at half. Oh. It has crystals on it. New music? You don't have a ton of O2. I'm gonna listen to the music and I'm gonna do a little bit of reading. The spherical stone casing here seems to be the source of the energy readings. Rather, the source is what's within the stone. I'm detecting some form of exotic matter. 
The stone is muting our energy readings. They should be 10 times what we're seeing at least. Whatever the matter inside this stone casing is, it's more than just profoundly unstable. It's under tons of pressure. Look at this density scan. I've never seen anything this tightly compacted before. What is this? If the stone were to rupture, the lethal matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing this star system almost instantaneously. The pressure is still building as the comet approaches this star system. Am I looking at a weapon? I think this might be the threat that the Nomai are, uh, it's tough because the timing is weird, right? I don't know. I don't know the order of events and also some some time stuff is happening. But basically, I think it's possible that this is the threat which required the Ash Ten Twin Project, etc. It might also be the source. Is our star going supernova? Or is the interloper melting the casing around what I would argue is what I what I think is is ghost matter like turned up to 11 on the on the volume dial and then that's exploding? I don't know. We have a lot of questions. I found two missing members of the Nomai shuttle crew near a large ruptured stone that looks like it exploded from the inside. <gasps> oh, what I was looking at was, of course, that explains the shape of it. I was looking at a rupture. The, the Nomai were looking at something that had not yet exploded. And I was looking at something that had already exploded. I didn't piece that together last episode. I'm so happy that we found that we reread this. Heavy on my, I'll just let you guys know what's heavy on my mind. I, I don't know what 100% I will be doing next in this game. Of course, I want to take it. Uh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. What is that? Oh, fuck. What am I looking at? Just tell me what I'm looking at real quick and then I'll, and then I'll land on it. What? I'm so pissed. I could have... I could have looked at the map. I didn't look at the map. I didn't look at anything. I was so busy talking. Why must you talk so much, Ryan? I have no idea. Let's think. Let's think. Uh, that was a massive space station. It had like what looked like the like quantum moon locator type like spherical how do i say this like spherical um like design like it, it looks like it was no my design to me it also had a weird light and weird music played what the fuck was that i'm so mad i didn't was it the sun station which i've never seen yet but i disappeared out the other side of it like the quantum moon welcome to the white hole station if you fell through the black hole by accident don't worry you aren't the first this warp tower can return you to brill hollow Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during this alignment to be warped. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happen when happens when it's directly overhead. Okay. Let's, let's experiment though. Are we aligning with something else? Odds are eventually that will line up with something. Yeah. Don't warp me to the sun, please. Dear God. Oh, thank God. Okay, all right. Where did I go? Dude. Insane! We figured it out. I arrived point zero 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 one units before I departed. Rami and I reviewed the records you sent. Poke. Okay, so poke and pie. They appear to show Nomai are arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow, slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. Yes, they're time traveling. Oh, let's go. I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We would have to reconsider all of our beliefs about the nature of time. Yes, I hope so too. Hold up. What a weird response. Poke's like, uh, this is major news. Uh, potentially, like the tone of this, of this writing is like, I've broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. Like it, it gives you vibes of like, things are falling apart. We don't know anything. We're we're more in the dark than we thought we were. And Raimi's so excited. Ra Raimi, the, the, I don't know, maybe it's scientific curiosity or something. Raimi's like, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> 
So I couldn't do this, this part right here on the last, oh my God, we're running out of time. When it was actually a part of Brutal Hollow. Okay. We're dead. Please, I just need to get to reading. We're out here on the edge of the universe. Please don't kill me yet. What just happened might be the most perfect description of what playing this game feels like. A drift in zero G, just like a hand reaching desperately for a piece of knowledge, another puzzle piece to the mystery of what's happening. One thing which, if it won't answer all of your questions, it will give you more questions to ask. Just reaching desperately for it, a time crunch happening, the end of the universe imminent, and you're just trying to absolutely get your bearings, get one more piece of knowledge, which might help you climb the ladder to get another piece of knowledge. And sometimes you get the piece of knowledge and you, and you, and you progress. And sometimes death of the universe, which gives very few shits, very few shits for your individual arc through it, consumes you anyways. That Come on, this should work, right? Like you should be able to read to translate that, right? How the fuck do I get through here? There might be might be a way through the belly. We need to find a way inside quickly, Melloray, because when I returned here to search for an entrance to the cave, there were children playing on the specimen. That's right, there are bodies in there, so there must be a way in. What is this? It's always paused if you are on this. High energy lab is at 400 meters. Oh man, this place is a true, sort of a nightmare. Sort of a nightmare in process, the Sunless City. It's so scary. All right. That is different looking. Why are these not smooth? What? Tag and the music is different too. Taggett says, are we playing the fossil fish game tonight? Solanum? Solanum is the one on quantum, no? I fed the fossil fish a new lantern. If you go to Stepping Stone Cave, the entrance to the fossil, fossil fish cave is easy to see. Oh my God, what does that even mean? You'll have to go the long way, but it isn't far. Go to Stepping Stone Cave and then up and into Fossil Fish Cave. I tried to get to the fossil fish through Stepping Stone. I couldn't find the entrance. Where is it? Remember to feed the fossil fish first. If you go to the anglefish overlook and throw a light into his mouth, I'll show you the way. No way. So you have to launch the scout. It's time. We're at the post-it note part of the playthrough. Um, okay, so we need anglerfish overlook to stepping stone. And that will allow us to get inside of anglerfish cave. All right, the anglerfish is gonna have to wait for another day. We're trying straight for the, uh, for the lab. Over this, oh no! I just have to wait until you can walk out? I got here so fast that I actually made this more difficult on myself. All right, go, 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 go. Oh, God. Go, 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 go. I still got punctured. Oh, my God, we're racing. Oh, my God, we're racing the sand. Holy shit, we're racing the sand. Oh, my God, we made it. What does that mean? Ah! I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Does this mean I can warp wherever I want? Oh, please, let me read. Let me read. That'll make things po more... It'll it'll pause time. Holy shit. Pi says, records show Nomai arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing the White Hole Station. We know this. Raimi and I are devising an experiment to test if it's uh, real or simple. So I think we've read this. In theory, what we want to try to reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsing between something entering the black hole and exiting the white hole at its destination. So they pair a white and a black one. Hypothesis, it's possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. I'm going to take a second and ponder that. Because <laughs> that is a little insane. I imagine the Sunless City's energy supply should prove sufficient. Of note, Yero requests that we let him know before we reroute energy to the experiment. I'd hate to leave him in the dark. <laughs> Hypothesis confirmed. Hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. I saw it. Hypothesis confirmed. The Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 22 minute interval is pop. 
We've learned the negative interval of time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. rate. We would likely need an enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be Ash Twin. So it turns out, we know what the fuck this thing is for now. At least, hypothetically. Okay, so here's the, here's the enormous question, right? Why do they need to create a 22 minute interval? <laughs> I have an idea. And I'm not gonna know if I'm right or wrong, and you guys aren't gonna tell me. But I wanna put it on record here. I have an idea. If I am exiting the time loop 22 minutes prior to me entering, I'm exiting a white hole basically. 22 minutes prior to me ex uh, uh, entering a black hole. Does that mean that in order for me to progress the game slash do what the Nomai want me to do, which I don't understand yet, I need to have a massive amount of energy, make the warp station work, and then at 22 minutes, when the sun is supernova-ing, hop into the black hole? I don't know, but I can't wait to find out. The Ash Twin Project will be one of our biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically. To build it, we need a way to travel quickly between Ash Twin and each location that holds crucial project materials. Of note, each tower on Ash Twin will warp to a different planet. So, are these the different warp towers? This one is the Twin Warp Tower. This one is the... Sun Warp Tower? I love the artwork in this game. It is always slightly more abstract than my ability to understand, but I generally get there eventually. All right. Here's the next thing to experiment with before we die and call this an episode. That should send the power into the warp thing, right? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Holy shit. What am I powering here? Did that just say error for the distance? Error duplicate. Duplicate signal. Whoa. Very cool. Scout launcher is out. Hit the space button. Oh my God, we've done it! Let's go! Whoever was it when whoever was it when we ended last time is the anglerfish. Levy says. I love that kids' writing is like this. It's like scribbles. Rule change. Levy says the anglerfish now has to wear a blindfold and do not peek. Why are we changing it? It's too hard if you can't see anything. Ant Pie says real anglerfish are blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. An update, Melloray, while I was here making sketches of the anglerfish, I observed the children I saw earlier playing here again. They've added a rule to their game that incorporates our research. It's wonderful. I'm entirely delighted. It's never too early to appreciate biology. Anglerfish has been figured out. So where do you think that goes? I mean, we should just, you know, send it. That's what we should do. We should just send it. The way through is to go down into these. Not that one. Like there's an area we found recently that it looked like I could not get in there because of right there, this one. Holy shit. Incredible. Oh my God. This game is so fucking good. You have to go up and then back through. Oh, you have to follow the sand. You have to work with it. It goes against my whole, every instinct in me. Who's been computing shuttle trajectories to the sun station? Don't worry, the station is in such a low stellar orbit. We've constructed a different, safer way to travel there from Ash Twin. Warping. It's a purely theoretical exercise on my part, Yero. Who doesn't love computing a good low stellar orbit shuttle trajectory? <laughs> Pi definitely plays Kerbal Space Program in their free time. Pi, I look forward to working with you, but I'm also relieved it will be easy to return to Ash uh, Twin regularly. Idea said, that would be Pi. I told her we wouldn't be traveling there by shuttle and that the sun station wouldn't even have, doesn't even have a landing pad, but she said she knew. I don't know why everyone says the eye is important. Yo, Solanum must have grown up here. 
I think that's what's happening. I think Solanum grew up, grew up here. They say it, and then became like a a, a no my contributing adult or young adult. They say it because eventually, I believe Solanum writes in a normal scribble, right? In a normal uh, spiral, right? I don't know why everyone says the eye is important. They say it brought us to the solar system, but is that good? Dad told me lots of Nomai died when our clan came here. What if the eye wanted that to happen? What if the eye isn't something good? I mean, I'll be honest, Solanum, the drawing of the eye is very scary. It's terrifying. Is this Solanum's room? Solanum's diary? I think it is. Or at least, you know, the equivalent of that. The just slight rotation of the cosmos from right to left over the screen right there. God, it's good to be back in this game. Uh-oh. Oh! Ah! Let me out! Do I want to ride it? I probably want to ride it. Never mind. Let me back in. Let me back in. Oh, no. Now I want to go back. I mean... There's science, which is like, hey, I want to be wrong. I want to fail because that's more interesting and you learn more that way. And then there's just pure idi idiocy. And uh, we did the second one there. What did I think was gonna happen? Unfortunately, now we kind of have to wait. <clears throat> okay, so this is exactly where we were last time when we made a grave mistake that we called science. <laughs> All right, are you done? All right. Friends visiting from the Hanging City, we are planning the Ash Twin Project at the High Energy Lab on Ember Twin's equator, okay? I became lost on Ember Twin, my gratitude that Raimi found me, but the High Energy Lab is the building with the large solar panels. I'm surprised I didn't see it. I imagine our otherwise immensely clever Kanoi would lose his own head if it weren't anatomically impossible. It's just a joke. That's all that that was. Just a little joke. Maybe I completely misunderstand Warp Towers. Nope. Okay. Well, that's actually slightly confusing then. They had dialogue about Hanging City, but we just warped back to, uh... Okay. Ember Twin. Now, is this a different one, though? It's broken, so I don't truly know if it will work, but it might. I, I feel like this one should warp you, yeah? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, buddy. Sun Station, if I can just get onto it. Did we learn that you can't go there, that you need to teleport there? I think this is what we learned, right? Nope, yep, nope, 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 you cannot. Nope, oh uh, no. Fuck. The pain of your absence is sharp and haunting, and I would give anything not to know it. Anything except for never knowing you at all, which would be worse. I can only hope you are safe, Keek wherever you are. I love the moments like this where they make it so personal, right? Like this cast of characters is not a, it's not like a, a list of replaceable names, right? They're individuals who had individual relationships and different ways of expressing that. And God, that is a fucking image to look over that ledge. All right, we jump so that I can boost quickly. He's on this planet again? Wait a second. Uh-oh. Did I just die? Oh, no. Oh, no. Put the signal scale away. Oh, my God. Is it fine? Oh, my God. It's not fine. Holy fucking shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no! Okay. Oh, buddy. I need to go right there. Oh no, I just fell. Fuck! God. God, it's so hard! Holy God! Ryback! You beautiful son of a gun! It's been too long! I don't know that I've ever seen you. Imagine that healed you. Wouldn't that be funny? Oh! You launched! That's great! Great job, you. An alien race lived in this solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civiliza civilization was like? Only 
I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that, I've out, that I'm out here. You want to know how I even got this far? I fell. I tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere my little scout says is halfway stable, instead of being sucked into what's below. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? Honestly, I did. Tell me anything you want to tell me. The planet's an absolute treasure trove of culture, history, and science. The stinging weight of this sentence landing on us as the world, as the earth, the, the, the planet itself is falling apart, right? It's a treasure trove of culture, history, and science, and in 10 minutes, it will be nothing but dust. Hey, Ryback, I learned something. Oh, cool. What is it? You visited the Hanging City? Oh, gosh, how was it? Was it amazing? Beautiful? Was it scary? The Hanging City is where the Nomai settled permanently on Brittle Hollow. It was their most advanced settlement here. Yeah. Why they chose to build their most advanced settlement so close to a you-know-what is beyond me. I believe it's because they were using it. Like, I think they sort of used the White Hole Station to travel. But does it just go there and back? Maybe that kind of thing makes sense to a Nomai, though. Maybe they needed the Black Hole for something. Sure. Probably for their 22-minute time loop. I went to the comet and... Dot, dot, dot. Oh, wow. Wow. So that's how the Nomai died? That's really sad, isn't it? I know it was a long time ago, but still. Stars above, it's lucky we hadn't evolved to live on land yet. Okay. Ooh, I don't know how to feel right now. Oh God, someday this whole thing is gonna make sense, but for now it so does not. Oh, Ryback says, to think if the comet hadn't killed them, our species might've coexisted in this solar system. That would have been amazing. But I guess if I had, hadn't wanted to learn why the Nomad disappeared, I'd never have left Timber Hearth and came out here. I don't know that that is necessarily how the Nomai died. It's at least how two Nomai died, right? Which is escape pod, lands on interloper. Some of them go down. They find the like exploded structure basically that I think ghost matter came from. They died trying to escape. Oh, is it true that we aren't coexisting in this solar system? Is it truly that old? Then why are they just starting this time loop now? I don't know. And how would they do it if they were already dead? See ya. Don't go into the black hole. Oh no, I'm going into the black hole. Shit. Oh, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna die. I didn't die, but I am going into the black hole. All right, fuck. Hold up. What's that? That is giant steep. Okay. Hey, we got a door and it looks to be open. Can I just uh, squeak on in here? All right. Oh. I'm gonna, I don't want to step on a thing. I don't know why I took a picture of that. Some time has passed since I checked in with you, Pi, Yero says. How are you and Idea progressing with the Sun Station plans? Presently, my assessment is that our plan will either fail explosively or succeed explosively. <laughs> Pi, you know I don't find that funny, Idea says. Hypothesis. Time spent away from the station would be beneficial to you both. I'm immensely interested in testing your hypothesis, Yero. That, at least, we can agree upon. Hilarious. Oh, yeah. Shit. Oh, well, how do I get in here? Interesting. I don't, I don't think there's a way to get rid of these guys. Unfortunately, you know? Here's our first delivery, Yero. One warp core fresh from the Black Hole Forge. So warp cores were made in the Black Hole Forge? I guess that makes sense. What you're forging a war? Uh, that makes sense. Sure, a black hole. Sure. Roots is Root is installing this core sibling on Brittle Hollow. Did I step? Wait, wait, wait. Did I step into the Brittle Hollow one again? And I didn't realize. Wish I could wait here for you to arrive, but the forge and my unfinished work there is calling. I'll return with more material soon. My gratitude, Claire. With this, the Ash Twin project is underway. More precisely, I would like to visit the White Hole Station with you, Clary. I'd be happy to explain our findings. Hero, stop using the scroll wall to flirt with my sister in romantic matters. Her density rivals a neutron stars. <laughs> and go meet her on the White Hole Station, you dumbass. Incredible. Oh, thank God. Oxygen tank refilled, by the way. Oh, I've not been here. Oh, holy shit. Oh, no. <laughs> No dumb 
shit, Ryan, no! Oh, I just fell again! <laughs> There's no way, right? Wait a second. If the ash is high enough, can you actually fucking waltz through there? Yeet me. I will. Oh my god, it worked. Perfect timing. All right, we're not going to walk off this time. We're going to walk here. This planet is a shell of itself for sure. And there goes more of it into the black hole. Okay, we're going to walk over here. Be conscious near the boarding area while the black hole forge is in operation. What? Where's the fucking thing? Do I have to step into this? What am I looking at here? Oh god. So do I have to- Oh my god, do I have to do this? Oh no. Oh. No! Was I- was I close? Was I close to landing that? Fuck. <laughs> Bang's head against the wall. Let me through and this is gonna be very tense. <gasps> Honestly, I'll hold it later. Hold. Hold. We made it. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh, I have no idea what this is going to be like. Right there. Right there. Three, two, one, go. No? Oh, there it is. Okay. Six minutes, 36 seconds ago. That has to be the start of the loop. Sun station, increased solar activity detected. Sun station hull integrity approaching critical levels. Of course it is. Closing, closing emergency doors. 281,000 years ago. No user commands. 281,042. The answer to life, the universe, and everything. Years ago, no user commands received for 10 minutes. All systems entering sleep. Of course we're going to open the door. Holy fucking shit. I'm gonna die. The gravity has to be... It says 0.4. <gasps> oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, we're dead as hell, right? Like... There's no chance. The gravity. The gravity. The gravity. The gravity. No, just send... Send it! No! Vitals are low. I screamed so loud, and I'm so sorry for your ears. Is there a way to do that? So that's broken. Shit, there's- I just walked right out. There's just nothing to do here, yeah? Oh, that was close. That was close. I don't think- I think- I think we might be able to do something there, but I don't think we have the tools. Give me the signal. Deep space satellite. Either way, I need to- I need a refresher on this shit. And, uh, because of that, I'm coming back here. Dang it. Imagine you could just take all this oxygen with you. <laughs> all right, so let's take a look at these photos again. So we have Sun, Twins, Timber Hearth. We have Brittle Hollow and the Lantern, Giant's Deep, Dark Bramble, Interloper with two tails. That looks like probably Timber Hearth with maybe Quantum Moon and Addle Rock. And, uh, and now 40. So we have Twins, Quantum Moon. Is it that? That's gotta be it. So it's that. So what the fuck is that? <laughs> uh, and then his head covers it here. Okay. Anyways, I want to try and go to the satellite. Uh, that's my goal. <laughs> Everything looks A-OK, -okay, ground control. No dust or scratches on the lens and no evidence of sparking or violent explosions. Guess that rules out an equipment malfunction after all. You hear that, pal? You're in great shape. Keep up the good work out here. Uh... Oh, uh, I have an idea. I have a very dumb idea. I have a very dumb idea. Please stay there. Please stay there. Please stay there. Please stay there. I have a dumb idea. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, easy. Easy. The sun should be right there. The sun should be right there. So as long as we keep going straight towards it. Holy fucking shit. What is it? What are you? What are these guys? Unknown language. Ah, I'm freaking out.
freaking out! I'm freaking out! I'm freaking out! What is happening? Why is it so dark? Oh no. Oh no. Don't turn the light on. Light is the key. Oh, what's it do though? I don't know. Oh! What? Where the fuck am I? Oh no. Pick me up. Yep. Okay. We're a floating world. We're a uh, a ship. We're a ship that is a world. The centrifugal force, or whatever. It's not the. I think there's a better name for it actually in this situation. Keeps gravity on us, on the outside of the ship, on the outside of the sphere that's rotating, or the the cylinder that's rotating through space. There's trees. There's buildings. There's a whole ass unknown language. I think the current is actually water that is not rotating. This is brilliant. I have no fucking idea where I am. I wonder if time matters here. I'm unable. I'm outside of space, apparently, like uh, location. Light is the key on this planet for sure. Are they playing chess? Light is the key on this spaceship. Pick up lantern. What is that? Uh, okay. They have antlers, but they don't look like Nomai. Remove. Uh. Am I dead? Oh, I'm dead! Is that time based or what just happened? Yo. Please do not confirm this for me. I wonder if this is the DLC. Yo, I think that might be Nomai. It's got a weird similar type of art. Oh, I don't know though. What's happening? You know what I love? Oh, this is an incredible detail. These arches are the exact same shape. So you're looking out at this beautiful colored world and then you turn to look for one more and there is a painting. It's just that it's also the door out into the actual world. I just got shocked. I just died. I just got shocked and died. I understand. There was a there was an exposed wire in the in the water. And so ends our first trip to uh, question mark <laughs> to some place. I have no clue. Now more than ever, I have more fucking questions than I do answers. So what are we up to today? Well, I've been thinking and I think it's time to get our bearings in a certain way. One of the things that I, I started doing a couple episodes ago Was that different? Bearings. Does that probe always shoot right there? There's no way it's ever been that close before. Yeah? Hold up. Wait. Never mind. Throw the bearings out the window. Something different is happening. I know about the launch codes. No, I was going to tell you about using the ship log to set destination markers for locations you visited before. It's a brilliant feature if I say so myself, dead useful risk it poses of shorting out the fuel regulator and causing the ship to explode is so minimal that only Gossen would worry about it. What? <laughs> wait, wait, what? Uh, how, wait, how minimal are we talking? That's incredible. Oh, that's so, that's such good dialogue. Minimal, stars above, you worry too much. If anything's gonna kill you, it's the autopilot. That's what I'm saying. Slate, you're a technological marvel. Whoa, say that again, please. That sounds so good when it's not sarcastic. <laughs> anyway, I've got a fire to enjoy and you've got launch codes to grab. Go wild with the marking feature while you're out there. Interesting. I wonder what makes that appear. I've decided to cordon. Cordon is the word. C-O-R-D-O-N-E. I've decided to cordon off my experiences in this game so far. Sometimes you encounter something so mind-boggling, uh, so absolutely world-shifting perspective changing, uh, you know, etc. 
that you just don't have the mental capacity to process it at this exact moment. And so you just cordon it off into a little section of your brain. And sure, you keep thinking about it. You just keep reflecting on that circular space station in the sky where the water goes one way and the dam eventually breaks. And it looks like what might be ancient Nomai. I'm not exactly sure. Anyways, we're not thinking about it. We're cordoning it off. We're cordoning it off. We're, we're not thinking about it. We're not thinking about it. I wonder if that is what has uh, has started this conversation. Man, oh, this game has thrown me off. You truly can't come into this game with a plan for the day. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't have my space, shoot, my space suit on. Oh, from the jaws of defeat, we have made it back up. The Stranger, a massive artificial ring. Uh, this is the cordoned off section of our brain. So we're, put, put your cordoned off hat on real quick. A massive artificial ring world hidden within some sort of cloaking field. It does not appear to be Harthian or no man in origin. Okay. And we tried doing this. Can I find the scout on the map? Yeah. Let's go. All right. So we know for sure it's on... Dark Bramble. Hold up. Can I... Hold up. Can I do that again? Hold up. That's a fucking anglerfish. 100%. In the center of Dark Bramble is a fucking anglerfish? Honestly, that's a crazy sounding phrase. But it's like m maybe the tamest thing that has happened in this game. Uh, okay. So... That's on the list of things to do. For sure. Uh, you know... I already took the thing. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, the music was so beautiful and I just died to an elevator. No. It's such a good thing that we're in a time loop and none of the other Harthians actually have to witness what happened. That's not moving very fast. It's a blue light. I can think I can trace it maybe. Like I can follow it maybe. We gotta go, 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 go though. Oh, slow, 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 you roll, slow, you roll, slow, you roll. And down. Just hit it, honestly. Okay, so this has to be... Oh my god, it's got the eye on it. Cannon was aligned with a randomly selected probe trajectory. Which is crazy, because it's also random every time loop. Which is has weird connotations about, like... I'm not reliving the same 22 minutes. Also, I cannot figure out this timeline. The probe launches at the start of every time loop. The launch module itself, its projection pool is still intact. The nomad named Mallow argued it wouldn't matter if the cannon's structural integrity was compromised since they only needed to fire it once. What do I do with you? Can I go inside of you? I don't think I can actually do anything here, which is kind of funny. I don't think there's any purpose to this. I gotta, I gotta say been at this point coasting out here for 10 i don't know 10 15 minutes uh the stars are a lot less sparse out here i think we're just starting the music now yeah just started the music now it's that far away oh my god i can't believe how far away we are here it's a nice uh perspective changing experiment one way or the other all right let's see how this works Surface integrity 0%. Please take me. Okay, easy, easy, easy. Space button to match velocity. Bells. If you're here to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, you're almost prepared to set out on this deeply significant journey. Before you do, pause and remember your history. We all we make this journey not only for ourselves, but also to honor the members of our clan who came before us. Those who, after the crash that brought them to this star system, became stranded on Brittle Hollow and on Ember Twin with no communication between these two groups of survivors. What a key singular piece of, of text that is. With no communication between two different subgroups of Nomai. These Nomai looked upward from two different planets and saw the same wandering moon visiting their skies. It was this moon that kept their curiosity alive during this long period of hardship. When you reach the quantum moon, recall these Nomai. Carry their curiosity onward with you. Welcome Solanum! Your arrival here means you've completed your preparations on Giant's Deep and are ready to depart for the Quantum Moon. On your pilgrimage, the Quantum Moon will carry you, just as it carried me and many in our clan before me, to the Moon's sixth 
and most secret location. You have to ride the quantum moon to the eye of the universe. I think it's the eye of the universe. It might be somewhere else. Remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. I have to move the shrine to the north pole. That must be the sixth location law. Uh, we know that the brambles are dangerous. I don't know. I mean, the whatever they're called are dangerous. And we think that there's, you know, an anglerfish at the center of the place. Is this all? Oh, shit. Is this all just exterior? And there's a... There's all this light leaking out. The, the real planet starts once you get inside of there. Just t It's just 200 meters in. Oh, I slipped. Oh, no. That's not the way I wanted to do this. Oh, no. You know what? If we're going to go down... Oh, these have to be... They have to be anglerfish. Gravity is currently zero. They have to be anglerfish. Of course. Every single one of them has to be. It's now 1,300 meters that way. Let's go right towards the light. Go right towards the light. Yo, it's got layers. Uh, am I inside of a Russian doll of a planet? Fuel level critical. Yeah, I know. Feldspar. Are you in there? No. Oh, buddy, it's over there. Yep, there it is. There it is. Arshi blows. Trees, I'm gonna make it. Are you shitting me? My fuel bar is so low. Feldspar, you son of a bitch. Whoa, that's how I feel. Whoa. Where'd you come from? No one's come here in, well, ever, actually. That makes you the second Harthian to ever reach Dark Bramble. After me, of course. Well done. Feldspar, you're alive! You never were the brightest hatchling, were you? Wait, are you not alive? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm alive. Been camping out here since my sh ship, uh, you know, crashed violently. Uh, what to ask first? How did you reach the core of Giant's Deep? Giant's Deep's core, huh? Ah, that was a wild one. Since you're asking, I gotta assume you haven't made it down there yourself yet, right? If I tell you how, it kind of feels like cheating. I love you, Feldspar. I could fucking kiss you right now. I'm so happy. Oh, I cannot describe how grateful I am that he's that they're not gonna tell me. On a completely unrelated note, that sure was a big hollow find my ship crashed into. If I were you, I'd go take a walk and see where it ends. So I think what's happening is every time you go like towards the light, you sort of go through a... Can I have your ship now? Oh shit. Uh, you go through like a sort of gate and it appears that you can shoot a scout back through a gate Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Trip four, entry number, question mark. I'm going to say not one. Crashes, three. Boring crashes, zero. A personal vest. Well, ho, never thought I'd see one of these beasties outside of Giant's Deep. They were awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here, too. Blurg. This thing tastes terrible. The outside's all rubbery and tough. Maybe that's because it insulates the jellyfish's inside from getting zapped by electricity. Right, I'm going inside of this jellyfish's interior cavity to see what, if what's in there tastes any better. Hint, hint, clue, clue. Okay. Note to Feldspar, do not eat this even if you are dying. It would be too sad if this were the last thing you ever ate in this life. I guess these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Again, do not eat. Love Feldspar. Oh man, the confusion on in me right now is strong. So, I believe the game is saying, hey, this is a thing that can insulate you from electricity. Oh, no. Okay, we fall through into a second gate. Oh! <laughs> oh, buddy! Oh, no! Just gonna ask. Just... Listen, I don't have a ton of oxygen. <laughs> Squeak past here, I'm dead. Oh my god, fucking shit. 
even knowing it was coming. Oh, I just got a shot of adrenaline to the heart. I was just about to say, just gonna squeak past you. Here's the next thing I want to do. It's interesting that it tells us which one. That's cool. I want to try going for the red one. I, it's distinctive. Actually, you know what? This first one, let's do this. <gasps> okay, we figured it out. We figured it out. We figured it out. Go! I shot the scout inside and I'm dead. You can eat the whole ship? I'm going to autopilot into the sun. Hold. Oh, no. When will they learn that their actions have consequences? So here's my question. Is every one of these an anglerfish? The minute we can determine if that is an anglerfish, it is. It just turned away. Oh, God. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Maybe we do have unlimited fuel with the ship. Yeah, we have unlimited fuel with the ship. Okay. Oh, we'll get out of here. No, we'll get out of here. Listen, we got out. My insurance is going to skyrocket. My good driver's record is just like fucked these days. Sorry, my uh, current belief about the orange dot, the orange light, is it's basically a dangerous route. That is what makes sense to me. What am I basing that on? Absolutely nothing, truly. But here's my thought. It's a dangerous route to somewhere. There will be lots of anglerfish. There's lots of lights every time that I go through. Yep, and they, some of the lights are very close. Oh, okay. Too close. Too close, it turns out. Too close. Are we dead? Oh my god. Where's the other? Where's the other? <laughs> oh, where's the other part of my ship? What are you? Are you eggs? 100%. Unbelievable. Okay. Did you see the quantum moon just disappeared when I blinked right there? That was awesome. All right. Woo. Well. That's where I'm back. Doesn't remember talking to me. I found the frozen jellyfish near your ship. The only thing is still there, huh? That's where I first camped out after the crash, you know? It was pretty cozy inside. It does lack the structural integrity and indomitable spirit of a camp made in the shelter of the very bones of the species that tried to eat you, I suppose. Oh, so perfect. Pull up a marshmallow stick. I found no my writing saying anglerfish are blind. Blasted things do have a weakness. Wait a second. Can I turn lights off? Hold up. At least they didn't eat me. All's well that ends well, eh? Is it that I can go blind or that I can go without? I don't know. I, I need to think about that. That's how. Of course. Escape pod three. I'm going to be using oxygen here in a second. 60 seconds of oxygen. Seca, our escape pod crashed as we tried to flee this place, destroying our movement and communication capabilities in the process. Our best chance at survival is to return to the vessel to either repair the damage or more probably await rescue. We need to leave here quickly. Life support going down is the worst. Propulsion going down is particularly not great. If those two are gone and also navigation is, is bad, then you're up shit creek without a paddle and it turns out it wasn't shit creek at all and you have no idea what fucking creek you're on it's just not good so what do you think these things are do you think that these are the actual those are definitely just no my carriers they're like crates for no my there's so many of them din says there is a new problem our equipment is detecting two distinct beacons from the from the vessel of course welcome to dark bramble baby we will follow the beacon whose source is nearest to us. But suppose that beacon is false. We likely don't have enough air to reach the further of the two beacons, Then The decision is made for us. I hope I don't find a string of dead nomai. Oh, we'll leave a trail of lights as we go. There's still a chance someone could hear our escape pod's distress signal. Far too late. Oh, no. Ah. Oh. 
I never really expected when I first heard of the Nomai or knew the Nomai that uh, that I would be a uh, like a tragedy of uh, massive proportion. To any who come here searching for us, we followed one of the two beacons from the vessel to this place, but can go no further. It's almost too faint to hear now, but the vessel's beacon is still faintly emitting from within this thorny seed. The opening is too small for even a single nomad to fit through it, so our escape pod could not have flown through there. I don't understand how this could be possible. This gruesome place seems able to manipulate space itself. Maybe this was our undoing. There is nothing we can do now but try to perhaps find a way inside, or at least attempt to comprehend why this happened. My dearest hope is that the other escape pods were able to reach relative safety. And they were, Sekka. You, your dearest hope was true, uh, which is a minor salve against the actual heartbreak of this scene. It's so tragic. But they were, and they... They managed and they did well in fact they did really well they built whole whole societies and they eventually met back up with each other and why are these things uh they look almost like leaves too um is that going to be nope that's a new place that is the vessel fantastic okay great news we don't have the sim the signal from the vessel, but we do have this that we could chase. Oh, that's a lot of... Yup. Don't fucking do this shit to me. Oh no, just go- oh fuck. No! I was that close! You fucker. I shouldn't have done it. I think I was actually okay. I think I was- I was on the right track. We have to go back now. Fuck. We go again. They're blind. They're blind, Ryan. They're blind. They're not deaf. They're blind. I'm an idiot. Ah! It's obviously the sound of the thrusters. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. It's obviously the sound of the thrusters that is... <laughs> I'm gonna sit here in silence. I, I deserve it. The thing you're typing right now. The thing you're typing. Ryan in all caps. They're freaking blind in all caps. I deserve it. Not deaf. I deserve it. I can hear you clacking away over there. I'm not making a single noise. If I touch you, am I dead? If I turn, am I dead? Did you guys know that these guys are blind and that's why you have to turn your headlights off? That took me like three episodes too. To be fair, it took me like 24 hours in real life time to realize that the conversation was that they were blind, which means that I should be quiet. Oh, it's only, we did it. Oh my God, we made it. Oh, please, dear God, let, not, let there not be any enemies. It'd be so rude of them to put one here, right? Trees detected. Ship log updated. Okay. That's a big relief. What is that? What are you? A warp core? Oh, you look broken. Uh, I don't know about you, but you look a little bit broken. I've never... <laughs> oh, the moment the vessel received the signal from the eye of the universe? This is our first contact with anything of this nature. Everyone prepare to warp immediately. A scout, wait. I need more time to send an outgoing message. Shouldn't we tell another clan where we're going? We can send the message upon our arrival. I don't know that they did. By another clan, they mean another clan of Nomai before they ever departed. This extraordinary signal appeared suddenly. It may disappear just as quickly. We can't lose a discovery this incredible. Focus on preparing the warp instead. The warp core is powered, but this will be a significant jump afterward. We'll need time to recharge the core. That shouldn't create a problem, provided we arrive at or near the signal source. You did not, it turns out. <laughs> it turns out that's a huge caveat. Caveat. Um, everyone, we're ready to warp. It's clear the universe is dying. There are fewer and fewer resources and safe places within space now. My clan and I believe the best option is for all of our clans to stay together. 
These are yellow. I'm pretty sure that means these are received messages. If you can reach the gloaming galaxy, we found that black rock suns are fairly stable, and life in this star system is comparatively thriving. We live in relative safety. If you prefer to continue exploring alone, know you will be on your own. It was a very long time ago, but yes. My clan's ancestors searched for Escal's clan for a long time. But in the end, none of them were ever seen again. It's the only time in our history a vessel has ever disappeared. It, it was our only time in our history. I thought I thought for a second Neem was the captain of this vessel, but that's not true. I don't remember what the name was, unfortunately. Our We found trouble during our warp. The triple suns of the Bright Spark star system exploded. It was only a lucky coincidence. We weren't caught in the blast. We'll meet you soon, Kana. I'm relieved your clan is safe, Neem. It's good to hear your words. Any vessels nearby, remember to be extremely cautious of potentially unstable stars, which is most of them now. This is true. Okay. Oh, but here's the shit. When you say now, no my, that was 281,442 uh, years ago, apparently, according to the sun station. So, uh, how unstable are they now? Wait, we were Escal's vessel? Oh shit, the vessel I'm on right now is Escal's vessel? So that all means that, it, that they're talking way in the past? That that now, I'm not gonna look backwards because time will keep going. That now is now, probably. <laughs> that now is now. Oh, the conversation back there is probably from Nomai who are from my time or close. The fact that there are no more safe star systems, the universe is, so is it possible Oh, we're going to see if this, this message ever gets read. My clans are spaceflight capable species receiving this message. I implore you, we need your help. Is this broken? Can anyone hear me? Our vessel is dying. We need immediate assistance. God, that hits di That hits different when I realized that it was actually the long lost vessel. Between the grave and the fact that they can hear incoming messages and they can't hear outgoing messages or sorry they can't send an outgoing message uh it's just tragic i can't imagine how scary that would have been i don't know that they would have been alive to read them unfortunately just me but it's tragic that the messages still got received at all so i guess i didn't want to listen to the good music <laughs> it is like we have a puzzle and the edge is done and we know vaguely the colors have been sorted but we're not much further than that some pieces are together but Vaguely what area of the puzzle the next piece will be on. Uh, I want to go to Brittle Hollow. We're at the South Pole. Okay. Uh. Hey! They're spinning opposite ways. We have US Toilet and Australia Toilet. Cassava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant's Deep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit, but one component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. An update, it's now clear there are two different types of cyclones. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. Okay, it's that easy. Was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant's Deep. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. <laughs> Unable to determine orbit. No signal detected matching any known criteria for the eye of the universe. The dark bramble orbit. How should our methods change as we continue our search for the eye of the universe? I can't wait to figure out what the fuck the eye is. We know what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon. What if we try to find the eye visually instead? Milo's idea is clever. We have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe. You know how you increase your chances if the probability is low? It'd be absurdly small. I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken with Raimi and Pi about the technology they're developing? So is their solution to... Sorry, they can't hear the signal for the, for the eye of the universe anymore. So their solution is like, well, fuck finding the signal. We'll just look for it in the night sky. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to put some poor goddamn Harthian, Harthian on a 22 minute time loop so that they have to relive their most stressful day over and over and over again. 
until we send our probe into the right corner of the so, so we can find it. Honestly, hit me. I want to go at this point. Honestly, take me out. I didn't sign up for this job. It does actually raise a really interesting time traveling question. How old am I? When this, when all these loops are done and I hopefully get to go on my merry fucking way, how old will I really be? Because I'll have lived about 16 lifetimes in a 22 minute time loop. I'm get, I'm, let's just go for it. Okay. What exactly is happening here? Oh, no, oh, okay. Reactor has been, okay, well. Can I like get inside of you from beneath? Oh my God, I think I might be able to. <gasps> is this it? Oh my God, of course it would be. I feel very claustrophobic right now. I think this is working. Thanks, dude. Thanks for the ride. I, apparently, it's just that simple. You just get kind of close to the jellyfish and it takes you underneath. If you, like, once you get inside it, it takes you underneath. I don't know. Yeah, holy shit. We got oxygen and everything. And a statue. And it intact statue? I'm going to figure out what that what's on what's on the inside of the Ash Twin. What I'm looking at at the inside of the Ash Twin project is eventually, you know? Yero says, I have exciting news, Privet. The Ash Twin project is almost prepared to receive the probe data. So let's think through this. The Ash Twin project. I think I may have heard this before, but I'm going to I'm going to process it again with all the new knowledge. Does that sound familiar at all? This video game processing again with all the knowledge you actually have now. They're receiving the data from the Ash Twin project. Sorry, from the Orbital Probe Cannon. Rainy is adding some finishing touches here, but she'll be finished soon. Are you in the Orbital Probe Cannon? Well, we are. Statue here in the probe tra tracking module right there. Is ready to record each launch's flight trajectory and will automatically transmit all relevant data to you. On the other appendage, I'm now, on the other hand, on the other appendage, I'm now worried about this cannon's structural integrity and its crew's moral, in moral integrity. Once the probe determines the location of the eye of the universe, I'll send an alert directly to you and Raimi. I'll send an alert directly to you and to Raimi. Has this happened yet? Because the probe is still actively being sent every 22 minutes. Oh no, did they just mess up? Did they never send that alert or something? Have they already found it, but they've never sent the alert or some shit? I don't know. Receiving data from... <laughs> From probe 9,318,119. Visualizing current trajectory. Oh, I gotta take a, I gotta I gotta figure out what number that was. It ended in 19, right? I have to know if it actually goes up every time, you know? I don't know. I bet it does. Retrieving previous launch data from Ash Twin. Oh, game just lagged. Ooh. Total number of probes launched, 9,318,119. ,19. Deep space anomaly matching all known criteria. 60 probes ago. How many loops have I done? How many loops have I done? 119, so technically 65? Deep space anomaly matching all known criteria for the deep, the eye of the motherfucking universe was found. Why that pro? Oh, it's right there. It's right there. It's right there. I didn't even think about it. I didn't even see it. Uh, okay. Retrieving stored coordinates from Ash Twin. Displaying coordinates for the eye of the universe. I'm going to take a photo of it with my phone like an absolute motherfucking boomer. Astronomically small odds, right? So, all right. Well, we know all together. Let's do the whole big picture painting here. What well, we know all together, they realize via the white and black hole, you can technically go back in time. You can, you can time travel. You can time travel. They use that technology in combination with some pretty old school technology, a probe taking pictures of the... It technically doesn't say taking pictures, but, you know, using doing science on deep space, 
Uh, they use that in combination with that to find the eye of the universe. The reason that they came here at all. For the probe to work, I think we have it, baby. I think we understand. I mean, there's so many small questions. But in order for the probe to work, they are going to need millions of 22-minute loops, which is longer than their lifespans, lo the, work of, the work of more than generations. They also need massive amounts of power. So they create... The uh, in combination for those two things, they create the Ash Twin Project, which I believe is to hold on, is either to hold on to know my memories, or for for long long amount to to store long term, basically, uh, the results of their work and and their their very beings. I think, um, they put themselves inside of these machines and it it takes their 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 memories basically and their consciousness. They also need massive amounts of power. Solar panels on Ash Twin that are sort of solar panels. There's still a, still a big question mark on that one for me, but you know, we're, we're close. I don't know. Close-ish, I think. So then the question is, what is my goal here? What is my goal? What is my... Can I save the universe? The universe is also imploding. I, it feels a little bit, and maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong, but it feels a little bit like I was sort of chosen. No, it does, because I have a memory of this, and no one else does. Me and Gabro do. Why do Gabro and I have memories when no one else does? Anyways. What do we do next? That's what I'm worried about. They've found the eye of the universe. So why is the sun exploding? Did they find it right before the sun exploded? Or did they start this loop right as the sun was going to explode? Because they had to find it, and it was about escaping somehow. Or, and or whatever, you know, I don't know if it's escaping, but like, I guess the largest way I would wrap up sort of my very rambly wonderings with an O, wonderings of this episode is sort of this. I still don't see a way out. We can do this. We can do this. Just go straight for it. Honestly. Oh, dude, this, the landing. Not that one. Oh, you fucker. Putting a maze in? Really? Outer Wilds? Behind a waterfall. Okay, we can also use our scout for, uh, for light. Okay. <laughs> what? What? This fucking game, dude. <laughs> oh my god. I was like, I swear to god, one of those just moved. Oh my god. Oh my god. It did. Do I need to go that way? I can't tell. I probably do. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. If you've come here to look for Coleus, this is where we were when he vanished. How the fuck did you guys get all the way down here? He's been missing for two days now. We were examining the different rocks. I recall Coleus standing on the largest one, the wandering rock. I was taking notes and then my lantern died. Oh my God, I know what it is. When I lit it again, Coleus and the rock were both gone. Uh, I think I have to do it this way first. Shit, I think I have to do it this way first. Nope, it turns out I do not know what it is. Nope. <laughs> I fucked it. All right, all right. This 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 one will work. This one will work. This one will work. Keep an eye on the globe. The big reveal. This is a cave I, I do not... Um, I'm curious. This rock took me with it to a new location. I wonder why this happened. The wandering rock has returned. Never before have I been so delighted to see a sedimentary specimen. I wonder if I myself became quantum briefly when the rock carried me here. This seems the clearest explanation. Hypothesis, if the rock can bring me here, it can also carry me out. Incredible. <clears throat> really cool. You know what's perfect? I wouldn't change. I know there's a million ways to play this game and I know the order has to affect in some way, shape or form the realizations you have but i would not change a moment of this journey for me i wouldn't change the order i wouldn't change anything 
just a couple episodes ago, we rode a probe to the edge of the fucking universe and looked back as our tiny little sun supernova We had this, it's, oh, the same, the same perspective, you know? I no longer believe as I did as a child on Ember Twin that the eye of the universe, Solanum says, wishes to harm us, but it may not want to be found either. The terrible circumstances of our arrival here were almost certainly exactly that, circumstance. I suspect imagining we are special to the eye in some way is wishful thinking. The eye might have called out to any sentient species. It might not have been calling out at all, and that my ancestors heard the eye signal holds no great deep meaning. That's actually the one I lean towards, by the way. The eye is the great mystery, right? I don't know enough to, to actually guess. Probably, my, my take is that the eye was probably not reaching out at all. And that the eye happened and maybe had no causality, no like intent at all behind any of it. And that the Nomai heard it. And that doesn't change everything. Oh my God, I think that's gotta be it. It, it fits the most thematically, I think. Any of the good that came from searching for the eye for the Nomai. Oh shit, oh shit, hit the wall, hit the wall, okay. Whew. And they did a lot of good, you know? They built all these shrines. They did so much, like, science, so much art. The eye shrine is a piece of art. They did so much want, want, uh, uh, wondering, with an O, uh, on what's going on with the eye. Like, the eye sort of gave them an excuse to think about who they were, the Nomai, you know? Specifically that clan who fought, chased, oh, I'm getting shivers again, who chased so much of what the Nomai did in response to the Eye of the Universe signal represents the best of the Nomai. The strong desire to just chase the unknown and the possibility that something was out there. At the drop of a hat, they receive a signal and they go and it throws them into chaos, but they also from there rebuild and they rejoin and they like, they've created art, they've created science, they've all this incredible problem solving and all these lives, the given purpose by chasing the Eye that I don't think, even if the eye was accidental or was circumstance, that it is meaningless, if that makes sense. Black Hole Forge controls? Oh. Oh. No fucking shit. No fucking way. Lammy. Explanation of festivals. This is good shit. Oh, I like the school district. All the Nomai clans from all over the universe meet in one place to share what they've learned in science and art. It's called the festival. At some festivals, one clan's big discovery can mean all the Nomai get to advance too. Like Inanna's Warp Core, which made it so everyone can warp long distances and explore more. Each clan has a festival envoy to show their most interesting work. Our envoy was Thatch. We can't go because we're stuck here, but Felix says we used to go too. Oh man, that's an interesting cultural piece too. I'm glad that's included. I love that. Formation of this universe by Solanum. My sweet, my beloved. No one knows how this universe was made, but one thing we do know is everything used to be very hot and very dense, tightly packed together. I love the definition of dense there, Solanum. Since then, space has continued to expand at a faster and faster rate, which is hard to think about for too long without your brain hurting. This universe will keep getting colder and larger until one day, the stars and the life they support will all die. Solanum. Solanum. That's scary to think about, even though Kanoi tells me it won't happen in our lifetimes. But it'll happen in someone else's. Someday. Yep. Yes, it will. It sure fucking will. Oh my god, this makes so much more sense now that I can actually switch this thing down. Black Hole Forge. Teach me the ways. What do we got here? Clary, all of the warp towers are being constructed on Ash Twin, so the Black Hole cores will go there. My gratitude. In that case, Poke, Clary, I'm leaving for delivery. I'll send Yero your regards. Poke, I'll return to the forge shortly. I'm going to catch up to Rue and help him deliver the first uh, core to Ash Twin, just to make sure Yero receives it. Of course you are. <laughs> Poke. Of note, Yero believes he spotted a flaw in the warp tower designs, namely that one of the warp towers on Ash Twin will never activate. Where could that be? I believe I've warped to Giant's Deep, Brittle Hollow, Timber Hearth, the other twin. Does your romantic interest think a warp tower's alignment point is its receiver? Does he not know that a warp tower always aligned 
Ah, uh, this conversation is happening slightly above my head. I seem to recall that was your understanding of warp technology at first, Clary says. No, Yarrow understands the distinction. He likely doesn't recognize the hourglass twins are so close together they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point in between them. So, does that mean it's the broken towers with a Nomai dead outside? Okay, question mark there. Question mark there for sure. Regarding the warp towers on Ash Twin, does each tower have to be perfectly aligned with the center of the astral body to which it's tuned? I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomai, but if, for example, a tower's base were to shift even slightly, that tower might no longer align with its astral body. More accurately, I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomai, provided the next Nomai is not poke. <laughs> the fun that they are, the, the poking that they are doing at each other. We don't need the alignment angle to be exact. It only needs to be within five degrees of the astral body center. That gives us a slightly longer warp window. I imagine this window will last roughly several seconds. Oh, it's showing us the five. It's showing us the, the percentage. I see. Okay. What's that knowledge about the two of them and the Nomai that died between, you know? What's that knowledge? Think I could do it? Pause, pause time. Pause time, I can't pause time. I can't pause time. <laughs> it should be basically right as this, uh, as this is happening. I should align with the one on Ember Twin. That one is broken somehow. Why are there two? Right? This worked. Dropped me here. There's another tower. Is it just for aesthetics or not? I can't figure that out yet. And I really don't know. We have to wait until this is like centered, I think. Oh my God. <laughs> I could cry. I'm so happy right now. Oh, I'm so thankful I'm not just fucking paranoid. There's a second tower. There's a second tower. Somebody was trying to reach it. There was a dead Nomai outside. Somebody was trying to reach it. Eight minutes, 37 seconds ago. Received data from previous cycles. Oh, my God. Does it even need to be said? Or inside of the, the Ash Twin project. So there's some information passing between cycles. Masks receiving data from probe tracking module. Giant's Deep memory statue, which is Gabro, and Timber Hearth memory statue, which is me. That's the three out of seven that are going. This one looks broken. 14 minutes until end of cycle transmission. Poke just sent the warp core for the final tower to us from the Black Hole Forge. Forge. Now Ash Twin can be connected with Giant's Deep where Kasava is working with Avens to craft the orbital probe cannon and where Phlox is sculpting the memory statues. Hypothesis, the cores could have been forged faster if Kasava had interrupted my work less frequently to ask for updates. The important point is we are all connected through Ash Twin now, and also that I'm no longer needed for, medi for mediating your disagreements. I love that we insert a little bit of humor to this obvious, the this scene full of gravitas. So if I'm correct here, Yero must be a, a sort of know my top dog. Yero is writing this whole, I don't, it's weird. I've tracked some of these things and I, and I haven't tracked others in terms of know my relationships, individuals. I've obviously seen the name Yero before, but I don't know that I've specifically tracked like Yero being maybe specifically the one in charge of Ashton Project or, or was it larger than that? Yero says, Flocks and Daz finished the memory statues today and they are truly remarkable. I think it's more because there's the comment about mediating. There's the comment about checking in with all of these different Nomai across the universe. More on that in a second. More on that in a second. When the Ash Twin project succeeds or in the event it fails, the memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. So what's it look like? Is this a success or is this a, is this a failure? Oh, that idea is in there now. If everything goes as planned, the structure will prompt the sun's explosion which will in turn supply the power the twin ash twin project requires holy 
We're nearly ready to activate the Ash Twin project. Here is what will happen. First, the Sun Station will receive the order to fire at the Sun, prompting it to explode. It being the Sun or the Sun Station? Uh, Sun, I think, is how I'm reading that. Prompting it to explode right away or 22 minutes later or what? Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ash Twin Project will send the order for the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Okay, I barely understand that, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the Sun Station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from this cannon launch back in time. In total, each cycle created by the Ashton Project will last precisely 22 minutes. We can end this cycle at will. We can end this cycle at will? How's that work? Stop the Sun Station from receiving the order to fire at the Sun? The Ash Twin Project will not get the power it is required to send the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. We already have the signal for where we do. We can end it. We already have the signal. We know uh, the, the, the location. It's been on my phone for like three days while I haven't recorded. I don't know what it means yet, but I have it. We can end this cycle at will. Name a more powerful sentence in this fucking game. These words are difficult to write. The sun station did not work. However, this is the closest we have ever been. No, does this mean... Oh my god. Does this mean the Nomai have been gone forever? They've been gone for so long? They ceased to exist. And then when our sun actually supernovaed, we basically watched the Ash Twin project fulfill its destiny anyways? At the end of the universe? I don't know. You can wait for the sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer, idea, but you'll need to find some way to halt our aging process. Which is, you guys can store memories, sort of. We are halting our research into creating a supernova for this moment. A comet has newly arrived in this solar system. You might call it an interloper in this system, if you will. We're anxious to explore it. I wonder what you find there. It's been a very long time since we last explored somewhere new. We're excited to welcome this comet. Oh, and it's excited to welcome you in a terrible way. Imagine what knowledge might be gained there. I don't want to. Because I know. Because I know. I don't want to... I don't want to simplify it, and I may be wrong here, but I think the Nomai failed to make the sun supernova, which would tell, oh my god. I think what they did is they stopped to explore Interloper, and then exploded because of the ghost matter. Well, what, what I believe is ghost matter, I think, exploded. They died because of ghost matter, the ghost matter explosion, I believe. Warning. Removing the core will disable the Ash Twin Project, okay? You are about to access the core while the Ash Twin Project is active, okay? All right, we take this back, we take this back, we take this back, we take this real back. All right, we know where the central switch is now. Holy shit. So let's think this through. What do I, what do I do? Uh, what's the goal? I think one thing is to get to the, to get to the fucking sun station if I can just to see there's probably a little bit more that we could do there i'm sitting here in silence because i'm trying to figure out what the fuck we do next i could go to the quantum moon hypothetically use it to go to the eye of the universe those both seems like seem like things i am capable of doing what do i do about the universe about my fellow hearthians what would gaining a warp core do for me i could use the vessel holy fuck can I use the vessel? New dialogue, baby. Uh, I found no my masks inside of the Ash Twin project. You're saying the statues were made so memories could be sent back in time? I guess that makes sense considering we both have our memories of every loop we've gone through. Wait, then it's just our memories being been sent back in time to us, right? Are we really experiencing multiple time loops or not? Is it really me or is it just my memory? That was a different me who died at the end of the last loop. I was a different me. Holy shit. It's been a lot of different me's. Philosophically, you know, it's all me, but meaning we're receiving memories of things that will never happen to us. Cool, huh? I found the source of the time loop. The Nomai carved out Ash Twin and built a time loop device inside. That is wild. 
Now we know it's causing the loop then. And if it's caused by a device, that must mean it had to be switched on, right? Huh. What do you think would happen if you turned off the time loop? There's a part of me that thinks maybe you shouldn't, what with the sun blowing up at all. Yeah, Gabro! Then again, who wants to spend eternity being blown up by the sun? I'm no time loop expert. I'm just going to sit here and ponder the intricacies of time and space. Maybe take a nap, too, if I feel like it. You and I have different approaches, Gabro. All right, good talk, Gabro. Good talk. Any second. All right. Let's see. Is it the way that the sun station is moving around the sun? I did not fall that hard. The gravity is not that bad. So what the fuck am I doing wrong here? Oh my God. Why? Why? I don't understand. Ah! Am I doing this? I'm a cannonball. I'm a cannonball. Go! How did I hit that again? How did I hit that again? <gasps> He's done it! Yes! Ouch! This was my Everest. This was my Everest. Mission, science compels us to explode the sun. <laughs> it it feels hot. Like I'm just, I'm just sitting here and it feels hot. I bet this place is very warm. What do you think? It's amazing to me that this is quote unquote zero gravity because we're so close to the fucking sun that it feels like it should be very high gravity, you know? Approximate time until sun is destroyed by expand sun station is ex destroyed by expanding star. One minute, 58 seconds. Star will die in 13 minutes. Okay. Yero, what happened? Did the sun station not fire? It fired Yero, but it failed. The sun barely responded. There were infinitesimally small surface level changes, but they were barely visible, even to the third eye. The sun station is useless. It will never and could never cause the sun to explode. Return to Ash Twin first, my friend. Perhaps a change of task would help. Spire noticed a comet approaching the star system that we would like to investigate. Uh, no my sun station, eye of the universe, balancing the weight, but oh, no my art, baby. Let's piece this together, one step at a time here. I, this is truly an adventure. I have I have some plans. I think I have what I need to figure out how to do this. We'll see. We shall truly see. And then, and then I could, uh, it's very dark. Eh? Uh, what? I didn't think that was gonna work. It didn't work. I still need to get to the North Pole. Oh God. Oh no, not like this, not like this, not like this. Oh God. I was thinking maybe this tree had, oh no. Oh fuck. Had something on top of it because it's sort of shit. I was thinking maybe the tree had something on top of it because it had like a whole freaking, the moon itself changes based on the planet. How does that make sense? How does that make any sense? It's going slow motion. It's going backwards in time. What's happening? I can't believe I didn't realize. Did I just always see this place while it was outside of Timber Hearth? I never saw it anywhere else? This appears to be the one that I could potentially walk it north. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm going back to the, uh, I'm gonna see what the other planets have to do. I wonder if it'll even travel to the other planets right now. So maybe this is the one where you need to be on the North Pole. That isn't quite it. That's it. That's it, baby. That's it, baby. That ought to do her. That ought to do it. I have no idea what to expect. Okay, we've made it here. Now here is the question. What the fuck is going on here? This feels very like quantum shards carved by wind, you know? There's a windy sound in the background that I think is part of it. <gasps> oh 
Oh my god. Oh my god. The head is moving. Hi. What? Oh, I got a lot of questions. Solanum. I got a lot of questions. Solanum. Where are we? Oh my god. Leave it to this fucking game. Identify me. We're finding ways to talk. Oh, I've never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I particularly admire your four eyes. There are many questions I would ask if I could comprehend your language. You have my gratitude for understanding mine. This is going to be a little bit of a one-way conversation because it has to be because Solanum can't understand me, but I can understand. I can understand Solanum. Identify you. Who are you? I know who you are, Solanum. Ah, oh, you were sort of my favorite before. I am Solanum, a Nomai. My clan arrived in this star system before my birth, and we now call it home. I hope time doesn't exist here because I'm going to be freaking out about that if it does. No. The music, no. Solanum, why is our time together so precious? We are orbiting the eye of the universe now, though we cannot see it, only the quantum moon's reflection of it. The eye is older than the universe itself, and my clan believes it dwells in an extremely distant orbit around this system. What would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? Over time, this has become my clan's greatest question. Solanum, ripped from me, ripped from me. Explain you. Solanum, explain yourself. I am on my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. All Nomai and my clan make this journey when we come of age. I'm so nervous about clicking this next button. Even though the eye cannot be reached from here, the quantum moon remains special to us as it carries us nearer to the eye than any other place we know. It cannot be reached from here? I've journeyed here to be close to the eye. While the eye is obscured from our sight, we can see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye in the sky above us. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. When I was a child, I used to believe that I was malevolent, to have lured my clan to the star system, only to then van vanish from them so completely. I don't fear the eye anymore. In fact, it may become, it became my fondest hope to see the eye itself someday. I fear this may be beyond my reach. We do not have much connection, you and I. You don't know that, you don't know that, Solanum. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you won't mind if I think of you as a friend. No, I don't mind, Solanum. I don't mind. Yeah, just thank you. I don't, I don't know what to say. I, it feels wrong to continue trying to explore or walk around or do anything. Um, because you're here, which is insane, but we can't speak with each other, which is so heartbreaking. What a day. What a day. Mm -hmm.